Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thursday Showcase Auction 8 to 64 bit brought to you guys by Heritage Auctions in conjunction with Get the Greg Games on YouTube. Huge thanks on sponsoring tonight. Huge thanks to you guys being here. The top item in the auction right now going in 9.8 A plus Zelda Oval Seal sitting at 15,600 with BP. Final Fantasy 2, 8.5 A plus sitting around 5,000. Pokemon Blue, 9.4 A plus around 4,000. Final Fight 3 was a complete in box. Sitting at almost 3,000. I think it was 3,000. Super Nintendo Final Fight 3, 9.6 CIB. It's going to be a lot of good games tonight. A lot of big games tonight. 200 games tonight across all consoles. At the end of the auction, like getting more towards the end, I believe is where they all are. There's also some trading cards. Um, a lot of them were looking like Donkey Kong Country. There was also some Mario. Um, I don't know if it was like Mario Advance. They're early Japanese trading cards for Nintendo. I guess we'll see them once we get closer, but make sure to check out like the late of the auction there and you can see the trading cards coming Fair up warning. a lot of them were sitting super low on the 400 oh excuse me a lot of them were sitting super low on the bidding so like <laughs> if you've been looking for some of these nintendo cards in psa 8 9 10 ooh, might be a great chance to pick them up might be a great chance to pick them up Adv advanced dungeons and dragons pools of radiance starts warning. things off 9.28 for 378 dollars that doesn't feel bad at all doesn't feel bad at all for the buyer right there. Adam's family, 9.8 A++, tied with only one other example. Pushing it to up to $600. Perfect copy of the Adam's family. Fair warning. Uh, what do you mean 25 seconds, exploded hamster? But welcome in, everybody. Craig, Adam, Burger. Adam, have you been here before, Adam? I'm not sure. Crypto Esquire, Fair Game warning. Gallery, Shockla. Jesse Turner, Super Junk, Next Seth one. Abramson, welcome in, Eric Hewitt, Larry Copeland, where the fuck is Greg? You should be early to this, how do I report him? Yeah, I showed up right on time, pal, I was like 40 seconds early. Adam's Family, $600 to the 9.8A++. Um, I'm, I'm very curious Fair to see one. if we've seen the other copy of Adam's Family come up. It did say there were two of them, so I'm just curious because it is a 9.8A++. Um, two thousand dollars back in twenty twenty one, and one thousand dollars back in August twenty twenty two, and eleven hundred dollars back in November twenty nineteen. <laughs> the Adams family tonight actually sold for less than it Fair sold morning. for in frickin' November twenty nineteen. That's kind of crazy. Whoops, where the heck are we? Six hundred dollars tonight, eleven hundred dollars back in twenty nineteen. Like what? That's crazy. It's crazy that already by the end of 2019, we were getting some uh, price. We were getting some price upage, some upages. $550. Arc Rivals, 9.6A plus $564. Into Caveman Games, 9.8A plus highest graded copy. Only 10 graded Caveman Games, number one there. First time here. Okay, that's what I thought, Adam. Welcome in, dude. Fair warning. <clears throat> New to the hobby is 9.8A plus Zelda good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not too shabby, Seth. That's not too shabby. That 9.8A plus Zelda can definitely do decent. That can definitely make some noise there. Oh, the fair warning was showing for 25 seconds for you. Oh my God. Could fair you imagine? Warning. We'd never get out of here. We would never get out of here if the fair warning was 25 seconds. Caveman Games has a little bit of a bidding war going on here. Pushing over $1,000. We're just about to push over $1,000. Fair warning. Uh, there's no SIG coming up until May teleport. This is a Next showcase lot. auction tonight, 8 to 64 bit. The showcase auctions always take place on Thursdays. $400. $420. Caveman Games going for $1,000. And again, just because it is a 9.8A+, plus, I am curious if we've ever seen Caveman Games come up before. Uh, yes, we did. It came up in October 2021. Eighteen hundred dollars, and prior one. to that, it was one thousand dollars in March twenty twenty one. So it went a thousand dollars, eighteen hundred dollars, and now back to a thousand dollars. Honestly, like not bad for caveman games. 
Commando was a 9.08 for 492 into Contra, 8.5 B plus, the first big one of the auction. Over $3,000, just shy of $3,000. 3000 on the nose, 8.5 B plus on Contra. I need to make this smaller here. This keeps tripping me out. I need this to be way smaller. There, that's better. Contra, $3,000. Darkman is also a 9.88 a plus. Oh my god. This is like our third 9.88 a plus here. Um, Next lot. I was just seeing if that was top of the pop there. I couldn't see it in their little write-up. $990 for Darkman though. Jeez. Uh, Dick Tracy is also a 9.8 a plus. Highest graded copy of Dick Tracy ever offered. Tied with one other example, top of the poppy. This is kind of nuts how many 9.8a plus there are to start things off here. Jeez. I didn't realize how kind of stacked this was for the uh, little bit of less popular NES games here. But jeez, a lot of them. Frickin' 9.8s. $950. Is this half of the Pokemon TCG auction still? 200 items. Does the Pokemon TCG auction really have 400 plus cards in it? Or I guess just Fair TCG? Warning. Jeez. Yo, Joe Nev. Welcome in, dude. Next Great lot. to have you here. Dr. Guillotine, welcome in. Doing fantastic. Those good on auction day. Nick Tracy going for over $1,000 as well into the Little Mermaid. Capcom title here, 9.0A. Actually getting some love. Uh, over $1,000 really quick on Little Mermaid. Looking for $1,440. Let's check warning. out Dick Tracy too. I'm having fun just checking all of these 9.8 titles. Next it seems lot. like a lot of these are from... Well, we'll see what Dick Tracy... Never been sold before. We did have a 9.8 A++ CGC copy over at Certified Link, though, back Fair in one. February. Just, just a month ago. Uh, $801 for a CGC 9.8 A++. <laughs> the 9.8 A++ on Heritage outsells it. Uh, kind of crazy. Disney's Little Mermaid, $1,320. Feels kind of strong. We'll take a peek at Disney's Little Mermaid there, too. Donkey Kong Jr., uh, 9.2 CIB, going for $1,500. Dragon Warriors, a 9.4 A+. First print Fair copy, warning. over $1,000 easy now on the 9.4 A+. Next lot. I assume still getting some love from that 9.8 A+, sale that went for $7,000. Dragon Warrior 9.4 for $1,680. So what is that, like a 4X premium to go up to the uh, almost 5X, eh? To go from this to the uh, the 9.8 copy. Dragon Warrior VJ85 here. This one is the later production. 2 HP on the back on this one. This was the first production, the 9.4 A+. What did I miss? What ground baking sales have dropped this fine evening? Nothing yet, nothing Fair yet. Warning. <clears throat> You feel like you read somewhere recently that Heritage would be switching some of their auctions to golden style bidding? Um, that'd be crazy if so. I mean, I don't want to speculate anything unless anything is set, Fair you know warm. what I mean? But that would be awful For if they did. $180. I'm personally not a fan of the golden bidding style. Um, yeah, not a fan at all, actually. <laughs> the golden bidding style just feels disrespectful to the uh, time of the bidders. Fair warning. Does that make sense? Because every time you place a bid, the timer resets. So, like, I, I guess you can just place your max bid and walk away, $500. but, like, then you risk getting bid up and shill bid and stuff like that, so. It just doesn't feel good. Dragon Warrior better not go for more Fair than five warm. bucks. Dragon Warrior is an NES. I'm, I, I, Dragon Warrior is one of the best games on the console, period. Period. VGA 85 of the second print here, pushing its way up to $700, does feel kind of aggressive. Fair warning. But I mean, I, I will fully be on the side that Dragon Warrior was undervalued. It just was. Like, <laughs> for how. I know that it's not like a rare game, especially these 2 HP screenshot ones, the later production copies. But like, it is. It's freaking Dragon Warrior, man. Pushing up to almost 780 here. It took you a while to realize Fair CGC warning. refers to any many how many hit points you have left in their description while Wada mentions Next how many hit points. Yeah, Brian, can you explain to me why they did that? I don't understand why CGC decided to not use hit or hit points as the difference, and instead they went with how much HP is left in the screenshot. Can you explain the rationale there? I saw someone posted on Facebook the other day, or maybe it was today even. 
I saw the CGC label and like I didn't know how to read it. Dragon Warrior, the second production, 85, going for $750. So like basically double it there. Uh, and a nicer copy. 9.4A plus is probably nicer Fair than one. the 85. But you can see the jump there going from a first print to a second print. Next lot. Dr. Chaos was a 9.6A plus for $432. Dr. Mario was a 90 plus. Very nice copy of Dr. Mario. Early production copy too. Fair warning. CGC just wanted to be Next different. There are only 10 9.4A plus or better Dragon Warrior 1s. Is that a Dragon Warrior 1 first prints hamster that you're referring to there? Dr. Mario 90 plus going for 1980. Now we have the 9.8A plus coming up against it. Carolina Collection Pedigree. Also an early production copy. 9.8A plus going up against the 90 plus. Yeah, there's less than 10 1 HP 9.4A plus copies. Yes. Like, that's actually not that much. For how big of a game Dragon Warrior is, with there only being 10 copies, 9.4A plus or better, like, I mean, if you want a nice copy, it's really not that easy to get. You did bid on some vintage Apple stuff, some games that were graded for cheap? <clears throat> Where were you bidding, Super Nick? $1,700. Maybe CGC, CGC just wanted it to be different. <sighs> Made no sense to me, Skull. Makes, I still don't know what they're referring to. Like, they're calling it hit points left in Fair life. Work. I just want to look at the back here. This is the later print copy, so Next they're lot. calling it HP 12 $1, for the uh, later print copy CGC is instead of using hit points uh, by 2 or hit points by 1, which is how Heritage is labeling it and how WADA Fair labels work. it and how VGA labels it. So for some reason, CGC decided to use their $1, own labeling for that, uh, different than what every other company $1, is doing right now. And I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, it's $1, like purposely, no, maybe not on purpose, but it just adds another level of fucking complexity to the hobby. Where if someone's looking at it, it's like, oh, what the hell does this mean? And it's like, oh, well, you know what I mean? It's just another layer, another barrier. To people learning. Faxanadu is a 9.8 A++. Early production copy here as well. Jeez. Um, looking for 1680. Fair you warning. said that Caveman Games used to be yours, Hamster. You tried to buy it back. <clears throat> of course, they put the consoles at the end now. You have to stay up until 4 a.m. Jeez. Get in those bids. Get in those uh, proxy bids, Simon. Get those proxy bids in there. Hard Hat Mac is fun and tough on Apple IIe. What the heck are you guys talking about with Apple IIe? What, what is an Apple IIe? That is getting way outside of my knowledge base. Faxanadu pushing up over $2,000. Pop one single highest copy across all variants of Faxanadu. Not a game that I'm familiar with much at all, but I know like some people love it. Like It actually has a following. This is a game that matters quotations fair warning <laughs> there seth see there there's always someone seth is sitting there in the chat best ever copy of faxanadu feels like kind of a big deal to you actually that game is a classic yeah like i've never i never had a chance to sit down and play faxanadu it means nothing to me fair but warning. fun action rpg type $2, of game faxanadu is sweet the apple 2e is a boomer computer system that's what i understood undamned like really early you sent a box of movies to CGC to get graded. They handled it a bit different than WADA. They didn't charge you until the box arrived. Interesting. Interesting to hear. You just paid CGC to grade Metal Gear Solid Essential Collection. It came back as IT oversized with no grade or case. Yes. If you sent in the big box, Daniel, um, they one. cannot grade big box stuff, so it will get rejected. It will get turned back. Next um. If you told them to open it, they would have graded all three individual games separately, but only VGA still does big stuff. If you want to send big stuff in, weird size stuff, it's still only VGA for that. WADA and CGC can accommodate like some steel books, um, slip covers. That's about it. Faxanadu closed at 2520 We'll check the comps on that as well, but Fester's Quest is also a 9.8A plus here. Fair warning. 
We had the uh, highest graded copies of Adam's Next Family one. earlier. Now here's the 9.8 Fester's now. Quest as well for 720. Into Frankenstein. 9.6 A++. From the Carolina Collection. Uh, it hasn't been offered for auction since November 2020. Highest graded example here out of only 11 on the pop report. We'll see if Frankenstein gets some love. Very uncommon game on NES. Even just for like cartridge CIB collecting. Not the most expensive, but like very uncommon. You probably won't ever come across Frankenstein. Hit the like and subscribe button. Marty the one man party. 17 freaking months, dude. Let's go, man. Hit the like and subscribe. I appreciate you, Marty. 17 months of the Greg gang. That's crazy, dude. One thousand two hundred dollars. Ah, uh, wreck. The auction is good. I mean, there's a lot of great shit in this auction. Period. One thousand. Like the uh, the eight to sixty four bits. I feel like are gonna be uh, the juicy auctions here, especially now that a lot of stuff isn't going to weeklies or the weeklies have gotten smaller. In fact, Sanadu, we've never seen the nine point eight eight plus plus. The right. highest price it's ever sold for was twenty six hundred and forty dollars. Nine point eight eight plus back Next in October twenty twenty one. So this perfect copy here almost got to the nine point eight A plus sale back in twenty twenty one. So like, not a bad Fair outcome Lord. really. Investor's Quest for 720 Frankenstein, 1560 Well, check the comp on Frankenstein as well. It, it, it said that it hadn't been up for auction since November 2020. So, in three years, or, yeah, three Fair years, warning. three years and a bit, we'll see how Frankenstein did. Here's Gauntlet, 9.6A+, unlicensed version, going for 1440 And the G.I. Joe, the Atlantis Factor, only three copies graded higher. It doesn't say how many are on there total. 9.4 of this. Looks Fair like we one. last saw it January 2023. This might be the highest copy ever offered. Next lot. $1,800 on G.I. Joe. Well, let's check out Frankenstein quick here. $360. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the 9.6 A++ last sold November 2019 for $500. Bucks. Then we had a 9.8 A do 1800 November 2020. So, uh, even three years later, Frankenstein's selling for three times as much. 500 bucks for this back in 2019, that's crazy. And, you know, that was probably an expensive sale at the time. It's just kind of funny seeing that. Gauntlet, 1440. G.I. Joe went for 1800. High speed pinball, 9.6A+. Highest graded copy. March 28th, the world changes. $600. Teleport! With the five dollars, man. March twenty eighth, launching teleport. That's exciting. You're like a week away. Seven hundred. One week away from the launch of teleport. That's crazy, dude. That like that came together quickly. Honestly, seems like it wasn't that long ago. You just announced it. Frankenstein is rarer than the price. I actually kind of agree with you. You actually heard from CGC directly that oversized stuff they'll probably never grade. I'm actually like not surprised to hear that at all, Mick. I feel like VGA will probably hold their monopoly on oversized stuff. Um I don't know, I don't know if forever, but it'll be for a long time. Wada Fair won't warning. do it for the next year or two as well. I feel extremely confident saying that. Next so, lot. If you have big oversized stuff, it, it's going to be VGA. Consoles, probably going to stay VGA for the foreseeable future. This kind of is what it is. They got you by the balls. They have us all by the balls. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors 2, 9.8 plus plus for some Fabio love. $960 there. G.I. Joe, let's check that one out too, the Atlantis Factor. $480. Yeah, this 9.4a was the highest graded copy of uh, Atlantis Factor that's ever come up for auction, surprisingly. It sold for $1,800. Um, the most it's ever sold for was back in 2020, actually. $1,920 for a 9.0a. So, I mean, someone definitely got a nice copy here for less than $700. other copies have sold, but it's crazy how little, how little exists and how little these come up for sale. G.I. Joe Atlantis Factor is also just, like, super uncommon. Probably Fair probably Lord. more uncommon than Frankenstein. I don't know. They're close. Atlantis Next Factor Lord. and Frankenstein are probably $280. close. Joust was a 9.8A plus for 780 into King's $300. Knight. Really early Square published game here. One of only, like, two Square games on NES, I think. 
This and Rad Racer 2, I believe? Second highest graded copy on the Wada Pop Report. I mean, the, the thing that's always stood out to me is that it's early Square published. That on its own, in my opinion, makes it pretty collectible. You sold a 7.5A G.I. Joe Atlantis Factor Fletch for 2500 Oh my gosh. Uh, Craig is in the Discord. I don't I don't know who Craig is. I don't know. I don't know how to describe who Craig is, Dukter. But Craig is in the Discord as well. If you guys aren't Fair in the Discord, warning. join the Discord. Link in the description. Um, I don't know. He hangs out. Uh, what was that price history on the Heritage screen with the auctioneer? Is that new? Yes. I think they added this a few months ago, Rick, where you can just hover your mice, mouse here, and it'll show you some of the uh, price history that's been seen. But it doesn't show, like, like it's not all encompassing is what i saw with it or what i've seen with it Four, so i do still like going to gamer stonks here and there to actually see the full lot lineup of games here um but yeah if you just want a quick look you can see some on the side there now so Fair king's knight uh 9.6 a 720 dollars may 23rd 2023 9.4 a plus here pushing up to over 550 fair warning you also got 1943 new complete game back 9.6. It was literally slot. brand new. Got it with other factory sealed games. I don't even understand how you get a 9.8. Do you have to know someone who works there? Mm -mm. $360. Literally brand. Yeah, 9. Point, what, do you mean like a complete in box, Daniel? Copy of 1943? If it was complete in box, um, you basically don't get 9.8. Fair warning. CIB video games like don't get a 9.8, period. Next three even eighty dollars. Even um even factory sealed man like nine point eight NES is very difficult, but CIB four hundred twenty dollars. Nine point six is incredible. That's the best you can do. I don't even know if CGC has given out nine point eight CIB. Literally might be impossible. King's Knight went for 552 there into Crazy Creatures. 9.4A plus unlicensed from American Video Entertainment. Speaking of VGA, with this recent Fair price warning. change, the cost to get a big box graded standard tier is like 30 to 50 more than what it used to cost Next to get archival. Line, That's tough, Super Junk. That's tough. Um, with VGA pricing, what I did see... What I did see with VGA pricing is now Famicom... As Fair well warning. as PSP, I think Game Gear, and Japanese GameCube. All of that is going to be accepted at standard tier now, I believe. So no longer will, um, no longer is Famicom like $115. A Japanese GameCube, that won't be $115. You can submit that stuff for 50 bucks now with VGA. So if you've been sitting on Famicom or other, I, I, I don't know if they're doing Japanese Game Boy yet. I'm pretty sure that's unique size as well. I don't know Fair if it's going to be all Japanese stuff that's going to be moved to standard pricing, but I have Next it on slot. pretty good confirmation at this point that Famicom, as well as Japanese GameCube, are going to be $50 now. $1, so that's nice. Crazy Creatures went for $528. The Legend of Kage, 9.2A plus Rev A copy for $1,300 there. 8.0 CIB, first production copy of Zelda. 8 box, 7 manual, 9 cart. Pushing its way up to over $1,500 here. Nice CIB first print Zelda. Then we have the 9.8A plus oval coming up next. We'll see how it does. Next lot. 34. The CIB sells for $1,620. The 9.8A plus immediately jumps to $40,000. Immediately. We're looking for... We, we're jumping 43, 45,000 we're looking for. Looking for 45,000, 9.8A plus later production copy here. Very, very few 9.8s. Highest graded copy of this variant specifically. Fair warning. Next Closing line. at 43,000. 43,200. Whew. 
9.8 oval, hey? Even on a late print Zelda Fair mint one. condition, 43,000. Lone Ranger is the 9.6 A++ there from the Indiana Collection, closing at 1,620. And the Lunar Pool, 9.0 A there. We, we, we got to check out the Zelda price action there. $750. I mean, $40,000 feels decent. You expected over 50 for that? Still not bad. We'll see. We'll see what it uh we'll see what it looks like here. Fair warning. Have we seen 9.8 A+ plus before even? $800. We had 9.6 A+ plus on Golden back in November 2022 for $31,000. 9.8 A for 57,000 is going all the way Fair back warning. to November 2022. Uh, we haven't seen it in like a year and a half. Next lot. $220. At least, I guess. I, I'm... 300, 300, 400, 400, Man, is there like no 9.8 A? How many are there? $550. There's three 9.8 A plus total on the pop report for Zelda. Uh, at least one of them are classic series. We've never seen 9.8 A plus before. Fair warning. So. Six hundred seven. Uh, same with CGC. Never seen it. So yeah, I mean, man, yeah, you're the closest comp is going to be fifty-seven thousand November twenty twenty-two for a worse condition copy. So maybe it could have pushed fifty thousand. Maybe it could have pushed fifty k. Forty-three isn't bad. Like, had it sold for thirty something, I'd be like, ah. 43 is not bad. I'm not going to call it strong. I'm not going to call it weak. It's just not bad. Over 50, I think, would have been pretty darn solid. I think that's going to be my takeaway on that. We haven't seen it in so long, like a 9.8 of Fair this warning. Zelda. <sighs> yeah, I mean, over 50 probably would have been, like, better. Well, of course, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. The Lone Ranger closed at 1,620. Lunar Pool went for 900. That's pretty darn good for Lunar Pool there. Pretty low-key title, bringing in 900 bucks Into Magician, 9.08 a plus. Another low-key title here. Uh, only the second time's Fair at Heritage one. Auctions. Only two graded copies. Over $1,000. There was a CGC 9.8 Mario Kart 64 CIB listed on Fair Facebook. One. Wow. Am I bidding tonight? I don't know, Craig. I don't know. $1,100. We'll see. It just depends how the prices are. $1,200. Gotta be nice to have 43000 to drop on a single game. I agree. That would be nice. 40000 doesn't even buy you a Modern Warfare. A 9.8 A++. Plus plus, yes. That doesn't even buy you a Modern Warfare. 9.8 A++. Plus plus and Teleport. The five gifted subs, my guy. Huge. Mick Tyndall, 1215%, 1, 1, Ryan O'Day, Chad Witt, and Mr. Oz. Welcome into the Greg Gang, all five of you, courtesy of Teleport. Absolutely awesome, dude. $800. Absolutely awesome. Much appreciated. Yeah, over 100K would have been better, too. Look at frickin' Magician go, though. Look at frickin' Magician. 9.08 plus. Almost, I think it's over $2,000 with BP right now. Next lot. Nine Magician selling for two thousand and forty. Like that's really good, I think. <laughs> that seems really good. Outselling the Lone Ranger, it outsold Frankenstein, it outsold uh, like the Legend of Kage. Man, GI Joe: The Atlantis Factor. Magician sold for more than that. It's a good fucking sale on Magician right there. Only pop two, 9.08 a plus there. That's crazy. Mega Man 3 was a no banner there. 9.2 B plus late production copy for 1,680. It has the uh, the sales offer removed there. You can see the banner is just there yellow. One. They didn't remove the banner. They just removed all the words on it. Very, very, very odd choice. Metroid, 8.5 hang tab copy, 8.5 box, 9.2 cart, 8 manual. You showed up partly for Magician, but you were hoping for $400? <laughs> yeah, uh, I uh, went for a little bit more than uh, $400. What did it sell for last time? Fair warning. Last time it sold for $1,320. That was back October 2022. So uh, there you go. There you go, hey? Uh, you were never getting Magician for $400, bucks, Seth. You were a dreamer, my guy. An absolute dreamer. Fair did I see Pat's latest video? What are my thoughts on that? Where Next where was lot. that? Oh, Mike. 
Um, I mean, at this point, I don't know what there really is to say about Pat's rhetoric. Um, it is what it is, you know? It, uh, for a lot of the people, with Mike Tyson's punch-out is an 8.5A. And DJ Weatherford! Thank you for responding to my chat. Let's go, dude! Always enjoy the vids. The $10! I appreciate you, man. No problem. I appreciate you coming out to the live stream. Like, you guys talking, chatting, showing up to the live stream, it makes my job a lot freaking better. <laughs> it makes me exist, <laughs> to be completely honest. So, appreciate you showing up, man. And the $10, like, that's huge. Super generous, man. Thank you so much. The Mike Tyson's Punch-Out is an 8.5A here. $6, Oval Seal copy. Um, Tyson pushing up to almost $7,000 here. Of course, the big Jake Paul fight is coming up in July, I think? I think that's when that's coming up. Very, very big news for Mike Tyson, so. Fair warning. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, with Pat's rhetoric about Next the market, slot. or even like a lot of people like Pat that talk about it, um, it always just goes back to 2021 at this point, right? There's no actual analysis being taken, like taking place. Fair it's warning. all just like, um, like it's just drilling in the losses. Next it's looking lot. at the losses and just getting hard. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> so it is. It, it's what I expect. $40. It's what I expect. But, but do keep in mind that when he talked about Nintendo World Championships, the 6.5 that sold for 84,000, keep in mind that he did say Fair it could one. have sold for more. Nintendo World Championships at $84,000 for a 6.5 could have sold for more, even though that ties a goddamn record in October 2021. Nintendo World Championship could have sold for more. What are you supposed Fair to do? Warning. Right? What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to say? You know where you know Next where his slot. biases lie. You know he doesn't like sealed video games. He never has liked sealed dollars. video games. You know what you're getting, right? You know what you're getting. I like sealed video games. I'm going to talk about them in a more positive light than Pat. Well, you Fair know what one. you're getting with me, but you know what I mean? I don't know what there Next is to say at this point. $400. <clears throat> I would love to see him do an actual analysis of like the past three months, six months, 12 months. Not like, oh, here's 2021 and here's everyone losing. Fair warning. Like it's been the same, the same rhetoric dollars. for like two years now. I guess almost three years. This July will be three years since um, the Mario 64, 1.5 million. We are coming up on the three-year anniversary. That's crazy. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, the 8.5A, went for $6,600. Right beside it was a 7.5B plus or $3,000. I would still love to get a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out myself, but like, frick, they're expensive. <laughs> expensive game, but I would love to own one. Very, very, very cool. Pinball Quest was 9.88 a plus for 456. Popeye 9.0 hang time for 552. Yeah, the Metroid 8.5 first print for 630. That's almost a deal, isn't it? Or is that a deal? 630 doesn't feel uh, crazy for that. RBI Baseball is an 85 plus. Fair that Metroid was a slightly nice get for whoever got it. You wanted that Metroid sub such a drop from the last sale. Interesting. Well, there we go. I guess that Metroid was a bit of a snag. Fair warning. <laughs> Timestamp 31 $1, minutes. Greg saying getting hard. If I wasn't on live stream, I would have been a little more... Uh, I mean, it's a sponsored stream. It's a family stream. I can't get too graphic with what these people are Fair doing warning. when they look at losses, but... you, uh, you I, I, Hopefully I painted the Next picture one, enough there. $320. This guy lost, this guy lost $30,000. <laughs> Hopefully that paints the picture for you. Renegade, 9.4A plus for $1,620. RBI Baseball for 588 Into Robo Warrior, 9.8A plus. Just a ton of 9.8A pluses tonight. Tons of 9.8A plus. This is not a family stream. Who's bringing their kids to uh, bid 40000 on Zelda? The best kind of families. You played Nintendo World Championships and couldn't get the long piece? So frustrating. Oh, like in Tetris, you mean? I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> in Tetris, in the Tetris section. Fair warning. You have a water. You have a newbie customer that started with Wada CIBs. And now he's already wanting to upgrade to sealed slabs in two months. You have screenshots of Pat offering on Zelda and Tyson right before his stuff popped in 2020, and that's why he's mad. 
four hundred. I mean, I, I don't. I don't even know. Anyone is free to uh, do whatever analysis they want. I just like I don't Fair find one. any value from Pat's analysis of the market. Five five hundred. Just is what it is, you know. Robo Warrior nine point eight eight plus, but very clearly Pat has an audience. Like Pat, Fair one. whether you like him or hate him, has the biggest audience of anyone reporting on this. Like I can make my little silly videos talking about graded games, right? And I get my like two thousand views or whatever. Um, Pat's one. videos are just like he he controls the narrative. For better or worse, Next it is what it is. Two hundred eighty dollars. His fans enjoy seeing what he puts out. <clears throat> so why wouldn't he keep doing it? Nine point eight eight plus for six hundred bucks there on Robo Warrior. Shatterhand was a nine point two eight for four thirty two. That almost feels like a good deal for Shatterhand too. If I'm not crazy, nine point two eight for four hundred bucks. Shatterhand isn't that easy to come across. Sixty dollars. Not that easy to come across Shatterhand. Shingen the Ruler nine point eight eight plus. Yeah, this guy lost 10,000. The guy in question makes 5 million a year. That that's kind of how it is, you know. Really right in front of my kids, Greg, you're going back to Dylan chat. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get graphic for just one second there. For just one second. You're serious? Salty Danielle got all Fair the good stuff. $400. You'll end up net negative listening to Pat. I I mean, this isn't a thing on Pat, but like there's a lot of content in general on YouTube where like Fair and it, it it's growth on YouTube or making YouTube content in general that if you Next make line. negative content, if you attack other things, if you drama, if you like negativity on YouTube grows. Negativity on YouTube is very popular. Even with game reviews and stuff. If you make game review videos, I can't remember if I saw like an actual um essay analysis of like doing positive game review videos and a bunch of negative ones. And like, if you just make videos like, oh, Fair this one. game freaking sucks. You're going to garner more audience than like, hey, this video game's really good. Um, 400, it just is. Yeah, Rudy talks about it as well with his videos. For people don't want to hear like, oh, this is doing decent. People are winning. Like, people just want to see other people lose. And it's really freaking... <clears throat> Shingen the Ruler, 9.88 plus or 456. $700. And Solstice, the quest for the Staff of Demons is a 9.8 A++. There's a lot of Indiana collection coming up as well, hey? This is the nicest Fair copy one. of Solstice here, 9.8 A++. Which one is the Indiana collection again? Dane's collection is the Carolina collection, correct? Which one is the Indiana collection? I can't remember now. But there have been, I think, five or six games already Fair from one. the Indiana Collection coming up for auction tonight. $800. Yeah, Rudy's negative titles already always get the most views, for sure. Yeah, hurry up and make content we want to check out. Yeah, great deal for Shatterhand. Awesome game. Your local game store sold you sealed games are... Told you sealed games are down 70% and gonna fall to the floor the other day. Oh, gosh. I couldn't imagine talking about sealed games at the local game store. Next lot. That'd be crazy. Were you buying sealed games from your local game store? What were you doing in there? $900. What? Are you... Are you? Is it Demnos? Oh, my God. $50. Holy shit, Joseph Leo. Oh, my God. It's not the staff of demons. It's the staff of Demnos. My whole life, I've called it the staff Fair of one. demons. This is like a Mandela effect. One, one when did it become Demnos? It was never Demnos. That's like uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy Kong's Quest or Diddy's Conquest. Like, which one is it? That's Fair crazy, one. man. That's crazy. $1, That's crazy. My whole life. You called Dragon Warrior Dagron Warrior? <laughs> Fair the warning. staff of Demnos. You can tell uh, how little I've ever thought about Solstice. Yeah, Diddy Quest of Kong. Seriously, though, like Diddy's Conquest versus Diddy Kong's Quest. Fair warning. Even just saying them out loud now, I don't know which one's right. $1,400. I think it's... I think it's Diddy Kong's Quest. I think. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've, I've gotten in my Fair own head warm. now. I don't know what it is now. Star Tropics is a 9.88 plus. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is why you like positive and informative creators. I mean, I, I, yeah. It's one of those things I did a lot during uh, COVID just because like Fair I, warm. during COVID, I had so much time to consume YouTube and shit that it was like, man, I can't watch like negative content. It's like when I made a big switch in my own life to just not consuming like negativity, drama. Um, Fair warning. You know what I mean? Like the more of that you consume, you actually do start taking Next on that one. kind of mindset, that kind of mentality. I'm getting into like freaking positive reinforcement here and like mental coaching, but. $3,200. This is what happens. But honest to God, if you can keep consuming that type of stuff, um, you start having that kind of outlook. Like, you start embodying what you consume a bunch of content for. Super Mario Bros. 2, 9.0A+. Circle Seal Early Production Copy. Star Tropics ended at 1800 That actually seems Fair pretty warning. decent for Star Tropics. 1800 bucks there for the 9.8A+. We'll take a peek at the uh, price on Star Tropics as well as Shatterhand in just a second here. We gotta have Super Mario Bros. 2 end at auction. What's my general sense of prices so far? Really up and down, Seth. Really up and down. Fair it warning. seems like some of these third-party games, like Shatterhand here for 432, the Metroid Next CIB, one. Popeye Hangtab 9.0 doesn't seem crazy. Like some of this stuff is very reasonable. And then we have stuff like Magician popping off, and Star Tropics was 1,800, and Faxanadu did 2,500 bucks. Um, Fair warning. It just seems like <laughs> any given game right now. I'm not seeing a super. Like, I'm not seeing a blanket. Wow, this is really strong. But some stuff is doing really well. That's what I would say so far for this auction, Seth. Super Mario Bros. 2, the 9.0A plus for $3,800 into Mario Bros. 3. 9.4A, pushing over $3,500 here. Pushing to almost $4,000. You like Patton at first you were on his side, but now he's just a spiteful boomer. He's still comparing prices now to 21, 2022 without taking anything into consideration. You thought about this when you made your videos about the market. Yeah. That's what I mean, Next right? Slot. It's it's like we're, like I said, we're going to be at the three-year anniversary of that 2021 auction. How much longer can we compare everything to 2021 and make it like a story and make it news and make it the overall narrative of everything taking place? Fair warning. It just completely erases three years of price history, of price action. Next What's that? Yeah, it's crazy. Super Spike Volleyball was a 9.8A plus rate, 140. Mario Bros. 3, the 9.4A, closed for 3,600. The lowest graded copy ever went Fair to auction. There was a 3.0 swoon with a red label sold for 10,000. Oh my gosh. I can't even think of the lowest grade copy we've seen of anything. A 3.0 schoon. That's crazy if so. There's a bunch of political commentary YouTubers who became jaded and just became cynical and negative to the point you had to check out. Don't need that in your gaming news too. Yes. Yes. It's because you start making negative content, you get views, so you make negative content, you get views, and then it just becomes your whole freaking thing. I, I, I don't know if you guys... um. I don't know. Like I... I this channel only came onto my feed when the DK Oldie stuff was exploding. But... Review Tech USA. Did anyone know of this guy prior to... Like, I'm asking you guys directly. Did you guys know of this person before all the DK oldies and stuff? Because it Fair seems warning. like his channel um, has become dollars. just like a drama-hate toxic channel in the past year. And I'm guessing he was not like that prior. But I think his channel is the perfect example of what I'm talking about, where you just shift over to being like... Like a hater, <laughs> toxic negativity drama, and it just becomes your whole personality. Fair warning. Eight hundred fifty. Like you even just go through his comments, and it's like, man, like your own audience is wondering what the fuck happened. It's wild. A swords and serpents nine point eight a plus plus nine hundred. That's crazy. A nicest copy of this game as well here, from a factory six pack. Yeah, highest grade out of just 20. Fair warning. Jeez. That's a Boris Vallejo cover for you fantasy art fans out there. And before you know it, you've become heckin' Steve. Exactly. Exactly. Fair $950.
I know this is way too earnest for this feed, but I want to say you have a very healthy attitude towards the internet and more, more people should adopt impressive outlook. Thanks, Seth. That is too earnest for this Fair stream. <laughs> Pat likes to act like we're all just dollars. investors and sealed games shouldn't be worth shit. Yep. Yep. That's one of the things with his commentary. It's never evolved. It, uh, he, there's no intentional... Um, separation between people who do collect and want to own sealed video games because he knows people have been collecting sealed video games like forever. He was on Nintendo Age. He used to fight with people back then. Fair warning. But he never actually makes a point to say that there are people who actually like this stuff. It's just always lumped as being all, everyone is speculators, investors. These people deserve to lose money. Uh, you know what I mean? Fair warning. There's never a separation of the actual hobby versus the manipulation. Next lot. $480. The Swords and Serpents closing for $1,320. As far as I'm concerned, your opinion on the market is more valid than anyone's lol. Hiko! Let's go, man. The $999. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. I appreciate the kind words, and the $999 is super generous. <sighs> I mean... <laughs> You know, I put up, I put out my updates, my content, whatever it is as well. Uh, it's funny because, fair warning. Like in saying what Pat does bad, people can say the Next same thing about me, right? Like you, people can say he just fucking chills for heritage auctions. Of course, he wants graded games to go up. He owns graded games. He's invested in them. Of course, he's a shill. Like, I, trust me, I'm aware that uh, the other side is going to view me in the uh, complete same way. I guess. As we might view Pat. Like, you know what I mean? The perception of different people from different people is always interesting. Tecmo, NBA basketball, 9.6 A plus there went for $1,000. And to Trog, 9.8 A plus plus. There's so many 9.8 A plus copies here. Beautiful copies of games tonight's auction. Next lot. See, like Trog in a 9.8 A plus plus. 720 bucks. That doesn't feel like that much money, honestly. Ultimate Basketball is also a 9.8 A++. It's crazy how many of these are coming up. I think I wanted to check out Shatterhand, hey? That felt like a deal when it closed at auction. There was a 9.2 A for like 400. Oh, I guess, I guess a 9.2 A only just sold for 516 back in May. I guess Shatterhand just isn't that expensive, isn't that sought after. $480. Um, I thought there was more juice behind Shatterhand. I, it feels like a game that's like more expensive as a CIB then, relatively speaking. Solstice, the 9.8A++ last sold for $1,125, August 2021. Almost getting all the way back there, 930 tonight. Like, not bad, not bad. Solstice almost got back there. Um, 9.8 A++ all the way back in August 2020 was $800. So <laughs> Solstice is very slightly Next above slot. its 2020 price tonight. <laughs> $240. Kind of fun to see. Wario's Woods, 9.8 A++ copy. Beautiful copy of Wario's Woods. Looking for 456 here. Um, I'll place a bid actually. Uh, going up to over 500. You've been I'll cut bid. bid. I actually want to own a You've beautiful copy bit. of uh I want to own a beautiful copy of Wario's Woods. Um Fair I one. know it's not rare or anything. Um pff, one more bid. That's it. I can't keep pushing. We'll see. Ah someone else You've is out there. You've been outbid. Someone else is out there and they even cut bid me. Five hundred Someone else okay, there's uh, there's three of us, I guess. We'll see if they keep going. $550. Wario's Woods is so common, but a good game. You want a beautiful copy too? Not bidding. Yeah, like it's just uh, the actual, like Wario's Woods was a very case fresh game. There's tons of copies out there. There's tons of mint copies out there, right? Like it's not a rare game, but it Fair is freaking beautiful, man. It's actually a good game. It's fun to play. And the box $600. art is just beautiful. So um, just for collecting purposes, Wario's Woods, I think is like, a key NES game to own. Fair one. But I mean, we're pushing up to almost $700 here. Just like, ah. $650. Yeah, we're looking for $780 now. Ah. 
<laughs> my meta stock position is worth more than my video game collection, I wish. Fair warning. I wish. I don't own that much meta. I'll be collecting dividends on that meta for next the next lot. 40 years, hockey guy. $2, I'm never selling. I just wish I had like $40,000 worth of it. I think I have like, I don't even $2,000 worth of meta. Maybe three. Not much. Fair warning. Oreos Woods closing at 720. Next lot. Wampum was a 9.8A plus as well. Jesus, for $3,000. Wrath of the Black Manta is also a 9.8A plus plus. So let's take a peek there at the uh, the Oreos Woods as well. You got a VGA 90 off of eBay not that long ago for Fair around warning. 300. Yeah, see, I would. I would Ray really rather do that Next than pay seven hundred for the. Okay, the last nine point eight A plus plus that sold was four hundred and fifty six dollars. That was February twenty twenty three. So like this sold for almost another three hundred dollars versus the last time it sold. You know, um, just not cheap. Nine hundred dollars. Not cheap. Wampum nine point eight A plus went for three grand. Group lot of three here. These are the uh, the prototypes, right? Solomon's key and Solomon's key two. That's crazy. You're USA and European. One thousand um, pushing up over a thousand dollars here for the group of prototypes. Um, I don't know. Punch a bunch. I just I don't know. Oh, the bay the beard is seven. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. This. Yeah. Ban. Ban. Timeout. Where's the timeout button? How do we put user in timeout? Uh, um, attempt. Yeah. There we go. Get there that out of there. Yeah. Uh, timeout. That's a timeout. You don't talk about the beard like that and just expect to get away with it. $1,300. $1,400. No, I agree, though. The I would, honest to God, laser hair removal. I would do laser hair removal on my face. I don't know if you can. I don't know if it's permanent. But, like, I don't want facial hair. Next I'm just lot. too lazy to keep up with it. $850. The group lot of three went for $1,500. Yeah, only polite shit posters are welcome, exactly. You have to start with a compliment and then have Fair the one. insult. Only compliment sandwiches are allowed $900. in here. The Zelda box was withdrawn. Um, people were saying that this was actually folded. I don't know if they were saying these are like... um, like I, I don't know if VGA is saying Fair these boxes one. are unfolded or if they were like... Just the Next box lot. only? I really don't know. But they did remove this from the auction. People were talking about how it was folded before. Like, if you just look at the fold lines, uh, it's, they can't even look at it. But that's why this was withdrawn. And Fair I just warning. don't know what VGA means by 80 plus on these. Because in my mind, this should be an unfolded flat box. But I just don't know. Nintendo Power Magazine, starting off with a 9.4 Nintendo Power number 4 for $1,000 there. Nintendo Power number 5, 9.4 Ninja Gaiden cover with the, with the dude in a ninja mask. $384. Into Super Nintendo. We are finally $80. done the NES section of the auction. So welcome to Super Nintendo, everybody. First hour of the auctions almost closed. We're about a quarter done, which is almost terrifying to say. Um, we're we're going to be in here for over two hours for sure. 27% done so far. This is Acme Animation Factory. 9.6A plus highest graded copy on the pop report out of just four total. Uh, getting some love here. Pushing up to almost $800. If there's any um, Fair if there's one. any NES games you want me to talk about or comps we should have looked at, just let me know. Next when we're lot. doing everything and going through, I can't check everything. No, so if there was something that stood out or that you wanted to see, just let me know. And we can go back and check some NES comps still. Uh, Pat the NES Punk, uh, Christian. Cristiano. You don't know Pat? How don't you know Pat? He's a freaking video game YouTube icon. And I, I'm, not, I'm not even being ironic when I say that. Fair warning. Pat the NES Punk is literally a YouTube video game icon. Next lot. I'm in, I'm baffled. You don't know who he is. I, I'm, I'm bad. Do you know the angry video game nerd? Like Pat and him were like, they were like the one A and the one B back in the day. Fair the one. Adventures of Kid Cleats, nine point four A plus. That's insanely rare too. There, nine hundred and sixty bucks. Jeez. Acme Animation went for seven hundred and eighty. American Tales, Fievel Goes West. <laughs> also, just very rare Super Nintendo here. All three of these. Are just like really rare Super Nintendo. $720 for Fievel goes west into Battletoads Battle Maniacs. 
8.5 A++. It is a later production copy of the game. Still, Fair oh my one. god. the uh, This is still pushing. There's only two copies Next of this one. on the pop report, surprising enough. So I guess that's why. Uh, you simply can't get a Super Nintendo factory sealed copy of this, early print or otherwise. $1,680 for Battletoads Battle Maniacs. Jeez, 8.5 A++. Bonkers, 9.4A, the second highest graded copy out of just Fair four. One. Man, the Super Nintendo at this auction is just very cool. Like games we literally never see. Bonkers here, pushing its way up almost 900 bucks. You can, you can Fair get, uh, you can get laser hair removal on your face. $800. How about a mustache? No, I hate having a mustache too. That's the one thing I do shave. I always regularly shave my upper lip and then I just let the fucking the beard grow because it takes more time. Fair warning. Oh yeah, but also on Pawn Stars, exactly. Pat was also on Pawn Stars. Uh no, he's just like video game video game collector, I guess. Gaming content? YouTuber? I think YouTuber would probably be the number one way to Video game collecting gaming YouTube. Fair warning. Which is what I would call Pat. Next In line. his later career, he became like gaming news. $600. Um, still like collecting news, gaming news, but... Yeah, just gaming YouTuber, collecting YouTuber. Bonkers went for Fair over a thousand bucks there into Brandish. 9.2A, another game we just like don't see. Three copies on the Water Pop Report. Yeah, you just don't see Brand... Even CIB, it's very hard to come across Brandish. 9.2A for this. Uh, looking for 900 bucks. $800. Looking for 960. A uh, Warzone, welcome in. Good to see you in here. You really want a Looney Tunes B-ball sealed and graded? None graded by Fair WADA. Warning. Oh my god. I didn't realize Looney Tunes basketball was literally a pop zero. Oof. Uh, which one was a lot, D-Rob? The Battletoads? For 1600 there? Or bonkers for a thousand. Because <laughs> bonkers one. for a thousand also sounds uh, kind of like a lot. Next lot. 320 dollars Brandish closed at 930 Bronchi the Bronchosaurus. This is one of those games released by Rhea Systems. I believe it was only orderable through like, um, ah, I was going to say warning. a dentist office. Or like only orderable through... Next Where lot. the hell did you get these? Two hundred twenty dollars. Three hundred. Uh, nine point oh eight plus. There went for four thirty two. These weren't like normal retail games. These Raya system games. But I can, here's another one. Captain Novelin. Nine point six A plus. I can't remember where the hell you had to order them from. Highest graded copy they've uh, offered here. Three hundred sixty dollars. Three hundred eighty dollars. This one. This game is about type one diabetes. 400, 408, 500, the bonkers and the five were a lot. Gotcha. Bonkers for a thousand is okay. Rare, good Disney game. Yeah, it's funny. Bonkers means nothing to me. I think it's one of those where I'm just like, I'm literally too young. Uh, bonkers means nothing to me. I like don't know him as a character. I don't know the games. Bonkers is just before my time. I think it's just slightly, slightly before my time. Next lot. Captain Novelin went for 750, 9.6A+. plus. Getting a little bit of love there for the... Uh, Niche titles here, these Raya system games. Into Chavez. Wow, 8.0 B+. Plus. Only the second copy of Chavez on the Pop Report. I remember the days back on, I think it was Nintendo Age, Fair warning. when Chavez 2 was like set to be the next grail of video games. <laughs> I will forever think about Chavez 2. Like in my head, that game is cemented as one of the rarest games that exist. I have no idea if it held up Fair or it's warning. even sought after anymore. But I will always remember Chavez. $8.0 B plus here. Pushing its way up to almost 400 bucks. Have we seen Bonkers before? You guys are keep saying that Bonkers isn't bad. Bonkers is good. Um, 9.4 A plus back in September 2022 on Golden Fair Auctions one. for $1,600. 9.4 A plus back in 2020 for 2000 So yeah, Bonkers has had some pretty decent sales, honestly. This was a 9.4A here for $1,000, so. Bonkers has definitely had some heavy sales. Back in 2020, even, 9.4A plus selling for twice as much as it did Next tonight. Lot. 
$340. Chavez, 8.0B plus or 432. You want the Acme, the Fievel, and the Battletoads, Craig? Let's go. $440. Tons of rarity in this auction should not be on a Thursday. I mean, this is the showcase, baby. This is the big one, D Rob. The weekly auctions now barely have any. Um, I don't know if you saw the weekly auction we just had had like no no NES and no Super Nintendo. So a lot of this quality stuff is going to be in the eight to sixty four show bits. Show bits. <laughs> the eight to sixty four bit showcase or the signatures like eight to sixty four bits. No joke. Bonkers was so over the top. Fair hey one. kids, look at me. I'm funny. Boring. <laughs> That's that's good. But, but the bonkers cartoon was meh. It's good to hear I didn't miss out on that. That's good. You guys are helping. You guys are helping my FOMO. Darius Twin, 9.6A here. Fair Highest graded copy on the Water Pop Report out of just five. Next lot. $700. What are you updating here? What are you saying? You've only been buying games and blocking out the noise? How is that when you try to filter items on Heritage, it still acts like they're comics? That absolutely baffles you? Fair yeah. Warning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will be updating soon, actually. That'd Next be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome if video games finally become their own thing. And this was freaking Demon's Crest there. Jeez, a 7.0 A copy for 800 bucks. Um, To get a sealed copy of Demon's Crest, I know that isn't the highest grade copy in Fair the world, one. but it's only a pop 11. Next 9.4 A plus 4,500. Uh, 85 plus copies, 2,000, 4,000. I mean, if you simply want to get yourself a copy of the game, 7.0 A for 800 bucks. An 8.5 A plus sold for $700 on Certified Link all the way back in 2019. <laughs> Demon's Crest, still going strong from its 2019 sales. Dig and Spike Volleyball, 456 bucks into Dirt Tracks FX, 9.2 A plus. 950 dollars yeah you remember chavez too yep <laughs> chavez too was gonna be the grail man pat's books are actually pretty good you have the nes and super nintendo ones and you pre-ordered the n64 Fair one help for reference guides yeah i um i've never heard bad things about his books like for the actual content of the books like i'm pretty sure they're great i mean I, he's uh, like the books Pat has made is literally putting Fair out warning. more content for the hobby. That is almost always a good thing. I mean, people are going to be pissy about shipping prices or the cost of the book or whatever it is, right? You're always going to have a segment of people pissed off about stuff like that. But Fair like, warning. as far as I know, his books are good. $1,200. Or, you know, like good as they should be fun, whatever you want to say. Uh, Hiko, ideally in June. June should be the uh, the Tekken. Fair warning. I still need to get the uh, consignment finalized 1, on that, but it should go into the June auction. Did I see Heritage Video Games Instagram shared my story in their stream? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You love to see it. Fair Dirt Track Fax X as well. Speaking about loving to see it, two on the pop report here. Yes, Highest what? graded copy, um, $1,440. $1,440 for random motorbike game, if you will. 9.2A plus Dirt Tracks FX. Oof, $1,440, man. That's, that's, that feels like a lot of money for Dirt Tracks. Uh, here's Donkey Kong Country, 9.4A plus. First print copy of the game. Remember when DKC did $144,000? Ugh. Ugh, I do remember. That was freaking insanity, dude. You like Pat's books? Craig, you were the underbidder on Dirt Tracks. You didn't think Fair someone warning. else would want it. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm baffled by $1,400. $1,200. Baffled by that. I, I mean, like, it's only Pop 2. I, I, I guess you just don't get to own one now, but I just don't know if losing this one was a mistake. You know what I mean? Don't sleep on Dirt Tracks, Fair the warning. next grail. Yeah, apparently. Like, go, go clean eBay 3, out of CIB copies. Send them in to get graded. Like, <laughs> dirt tracks to the moon. DKC here, pushing its way slowly but surely over $4,000. 9.4A plus. It was funny when someone showed Pat pump the sale. Yes. <laughs> and he said everything else was a scam, 3, but not 8, NWC, 4, baby. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that earlier, hamster. NWC is the only video game that allows to, is, uh, is allowed to be worth $100,000.
Yeah, I think you should be happy you uh, walked away on that dirt track. Fair warning. That just seems like too much. Next lot. Seems like too much. One thousand. Donkey Kong Country. Nine point four A plus or forty five hundred dollars. Here's Doom. Nine point eight A plus plus. Beautiful copy of Doom. Looking for sixteen hundred and eighty. There we go. Got some bids on Doom. One thousand. Over two thousand dollars, nine point eight eight plus plus two hundred dollars. Last copy sold for eighteen hundred and sixty. It looks like oh, it was a CGC copy. Sorry, um, around two thousand dollars is. We'll have to find the other Wada copy. We're over. To, we're at almost three thousand dollars now. Warning. Looking for two thousand eight hundred and eighty on Doom. Next lot closing five two thousand six hundred and forty. Let's take a peek at Doom. Like I said, that definitely just outsold a CGC copy. $1,100. The last... Is this real? $1,300. Golden sold one. Golden auctions. Uh, December for $1,100. Oh my gosh. Uh, so that's a bit of a deal there over on Golden. <laughs> that's why I can sign with Heritage Auctions. Uh, 9.88 plus plus. $4,200 back in 2021. So we, we haven't seen many 9.8 A++ copies in a while. 9.8 A+, plus, just one plus, sold for $1,500 in February. So tonight, um, almost twice Fair as one. much for Doom. 1,500 versus 2,600. A+, plus versus one. A++, plus plus, and holy shit, Dragon's Lair. Um, 9.6 A+, plus for 2,640. I didn't realize Dragon's Lair was this expensive or I would have paid more attention. Holy shit. Seven hundred eight. What is up with Dragon's Lair? What's the pop on this? Only five of them graded. Highest graded copy that exists. Okay. So Dragon's Lair, 2640. We've only ever seen it at auction once. <laughs> 2640 for the 9.6A plus. Nicest copy that currently exists on the pop report. Tying Doom, actually. Doom and Dragon's Lair going for the exact same price. Uh, Dra Bruce. Bruce. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, 9.6A+. Second highest Fair graded one. out of just three copies on the pop report. This is a Next game I've line. literally never seen anyone talk about, CIB. Like, I've never... It's back! Dollars. Bruce is back! We're going, we're still going! Looking for 1300 on Bruce! I've never seen anyone, like, talk about this game as an actual game. Like I, CIB cartridge. Fair warning. I, I've just never heard $1, people talk about it. $200. But Bruce Lee here, 9.6A plus factory sealed copy. Looking for $1,440. $1,300. Um, Foopers Lee, are you still in here? Was that your, was that your copy, Foops? Fair warning. Of the Doom for $2,600? One thousand four hundred. Bruce is still going here, looking for sixteen hundred and eighty. This is the inspiration for the name Wada. Yes, <laughs> you need your Wada history game here. Fair warning. Your Wada history. <laughs> That's why people are being bidding so much here. Flow like Wada. <laughs> you hate that Bruce Lee game? Is Fair it good? Warning. Does anyone know? I can only assume it's not good at all. Or people would talk about it more. Looking for nineteen hundred and twenty. Remember, this closed at like twelve hundred dollars, or was very close to closing. This has been pushed now another like six hundred bucks. Next lot. Three hundred. Eighteen hundred dollars. Once all is said and done, there for Bruce. Earth Defense Force nine point two A plus. Only two copies on the pop report. Four hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, smash the like for Greg. I agree, Hamster. Bruce Lee is a pretty good game. The May Signature Auction is turning out crazy good, by the way. You saw what has already entered. May 23rd to 25th. Yes. And that's a great time to remind you guys. Speaking of the May Signature Auction, Fair tonight's warning. auction is sponsored by Heritage Auctions, of course. Huge thanks to you guys being here. Huge thanks to them sponsoring. The May Signature is coming up May 23rd to 25th. If you want to be a part of that, if you want to get into the next signature auction, consignment deadline is literally April 2nd. You have like one week, almost two weeks. Like the, the cutoff date is coming for the next signature auction. 
If you want to get into the next Nintendo 8 to 64 bit showcase, that is what we're watching tonight. This is a showcase auction. June 20th will be the next one of this. Consignment deadline May 7th. Of course, showcase auction signatures. You guys know it has to be really expensive, really rare. Hopefully, it's a combination of both. High grade, expensive games, right? The showcase and the signature. That's where the good stuff comes out to play. And of course, they're always expecting, always expecting, always accepting. <laughs> they accept your consignments for the weekly auctions every single Tuesday, which have been great. The weekly auctions have been redone. They're looking a lot stronger than they were. Prices are going better in them. The Fair weekly auctions are back to being good, dare I say. So video games at ha.com to reach out. See if Heritage is the right choice for you. Thanks for sponsoring Fair it, you guys. Well. And thanks for being here tonight. Oof. Next lot. Two hundred. Uh, big drinks. Big drinks. My doctor said I need to drink more water, so I uh I have water tonight. Feels bad, man. Earth Defense Force nine point two eight plus for six hundred dollars into Equinox. Ah, uh, this is a Sony published RPG, is it not? Action adventure title with puzzles. I never knew what Equinox was. In my head, it was always an RPG, but I guess not. Published by Sony, ImageSoft. 9.2A. <clears throat> Second highest graded copy on the December Pop Report. Jeez, out of just three. My God, Equinox is apparently a lot more rare than I thought. <laughs> I need to drink more water. Exactly. $750. Bruce is not terrible. It's better than Shaku. Is Bruce a, um, is it a beat em up or is it just a fighting game? What is that Bruce Lee game? $800. Yeah, you can't just pump the signature without giving us some previews. Exactly. We need some damn preview games here, Christian. Cristiano. We need some preview $850. games. $850. Wasn't there a first print Tyson just graded game gallery, if I'm not mistaken? Wasn't there a first Fair print warning. Mike Tyson that just showed up on the Water Pop Report? An 8.0, I think. I believe. Are we going to see that at the signature, perhaps? An 8.0 first print Mike Tyson? Is Fair that warning. coming to the signature? Could it be? Can you confirm or deny these rumors, Cristiano? Next lot. 360, Equinox 9.2A for a thousand dollars. That's not bad, actually. Got a little bit of love there. It's always interesting which of these Super Nintendo games, like these less popular games, are going to get love. Like, kind of like how Dirt Tracks went for a thousand dollars and Bruce went for 1800. Like, you just kind of don't know with these uh, less popular titles which ones are just going to really pop off. Fair warning. It just really depends who's looking for them. $600. 9.8A plus here on extra innings. Uh, this is also Sony ImageSoft, funny enough. Just speaking about that with Equinox there. This is... There's other. <laughs> there's two other shitty Six copies on the pop report. A 7.5 and an 8.0. So this 9.8A plus is like miles better than the other sealed copies on the pop report. Looking for $900 here. And I don't want to miss the Final Fantasy 2 coming up here. But I do want to look at Donkey Kong Country. Fair warning. 9.4A++ DKC just sold for $4,000 in February. Tonight, a worse condition copy. $900. Where the hell is it now? Just sold for $4,560. And I told you guys at the signature auction when that copy sold for $4,000 that that was a freaking deal. $1, and we already $1, see now, like one month later, a lower grade copy selling for $500 more. Yeah, 6ZZR. You, you got yourself a great copy for four grand. Fair a great one. copy of DKC. So, congratulations for that. Extra the innings pushed up over $1,000 4, here. $1,140. I think the prices on these obscure poo-poo SNES games just solidifies how much you'd want your items in a SIG over a weekly. I mean... <sighs> Final Fantasy 2. 8.5A plus here. There's moisture damage on the box on the back. So that is what held it back there. Um, I don't know if we can actually see it or not. 8.5 A plus. It must be very faint. I can't even make it out here. But that means it's going to display super Fair nice. Warning. Like it probably looks fantastic. You know what I mean? Next lot. Closing for 6,600. It's always super tough. It's super tough to know how much qualifiers affect the end price. 
Because I know some people, if they see moisture or mold or like things Fair like one. that, some people just like will not bid on it. So sixty six hundred dollars there for an eight point five A plus. We'll look at comps in just a bit. A uh, final fight three was a nine point six CIB for thirty six hundred dollars. Remember earlier someone was talking about nine point eight CIBs. Like nine point six is as nice as it gets. And you can see the premium there. $3,600 for a CIB Final Fight 3. Very late release, rare game on Super Nintendo, but holy smokes, that's a good price, I think. I think that's a good price. That feels like a good price. Feels high. The Great Circus Mystery. Mickey Mouse. I don't know the actual title. The Great Circus Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie. That, there we go. I just call it in my head, Great Circus. <laughs> so, the actual title, The Great Fair Circus one. Mystery starring Mickey and Minnie. 9.0A plus here. Next lot. I feel like we've like never even seen this at Heritage Auction. $600 there for Circus Mystery. Indiana Jones Greatest Adventures, 9.4A. And yeah, Final Fantasy 2 will take a peek here. Fair warning. Whoops. $650. We just had that crazy sale of the 9.2A that went for 26000 Look at that. So the 8.5A plus tonight went for 6600 With warning. the moisture damage, it did outsell the last time it sold. Uh, November 2023 Next for $5,000. So Final Fantasy 2 tonight as well. Oh, this is the same copy. Six hundred dollars. Well, I'll be damned. So the copy we just sold is the November third copy. Uh, the person must not have paid for it. I guess it must have been an issue. I I don't know what happened, but Fair have one. you ever seen not sold? Um, so that copy did not get Next paid lot. for five thousand dollars. So the consigner, forty dollars. The consigner actually got themselves an additional sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> so shout out to non payers, I guess. Got the consigner an extra fifteen hundred bucks. No complaints there, hey. No complaints there. The person who backed out cost themselves on a nice Final Fantasy too. Indiana Jones for seven hundred twenty nine bucks. Inido, Way of the Ninja for six hundred and sixty. And the Killer Instinct nine point six A plus. Fair warning. <clears throat> six. Donkey Kong Country has seemed a little undervalued. I agree. Like DKC never should have sold for like a hundred thousand dollars or whatever it did. But like. Man, Donkey Kong Country is like like it, it it's 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 Donkey Kong Fair Country. Warning. I don't know. It seems like Sweet one of the most important Kong. games on Super Nintendo to me. Seems like a game that should have a bright future if uh, video game collecting is something that continues to be. Eight hundred. The best NES lineup on Heritage you think you've ever seen? I mean, it's pretty darn crazy tonight. We have a lot of really good games to go as well. The thing with Super Nintendo too is like. Low key, a lot of these games are like pop five. Nine hundred. It seems with NES, a lot of the uh, like a lot of the really obscure NES games still seem to have like pop ten, pop fifteen. With Super Nintendo, man, it's like oh, here's a pop three, like here's a pop two. It's super weird like that. What do I think about stickers on games? Um, I personally remove all stickers. Like I don't care if it's these little stickers on Indiana Jones or this Fair sticker one. on Final Fantasy two. Like I. I remove that shit for sure. Next All slot. stickers to me can be removed. Um, I'm just not a fan. I never have been. I've been taking off stickers forever. $360. So. $380. <clears throat> That's just my own take on it. Some people don't care. Uh, if it's a factory sticker, it stays. You know that's up, yo. I'm talking price stickers. Uh, King Arthur, Knights of Justice, 9.2A+. This is cheap, isn't it? Looking for 480 here. Highest graded copy out of five total. King Arthur, published by Enix. Isn't this like a really big CIB? Am I crazy? Does this game not have a ton of value? 9.2A+, plus here. Looking for 500 bucks. So maybe, maybe it'll get there. We'll see what happens here. Looks like bidding is picking up. $500. Mm, yeah, King Arthur is a good freaking game on Super Nintendo. If I'm thinking of the correct game, which I think I am. <clears throat> $600. No, I think King Arthur's World is there. I don't I don't think that one's good. I think this is the good one. I think. Six hundred. Where you play as like Galahad or you pick your knight or whatever and it's like a beat em up. I think that's this one. What about games that aren't Fair plastic warning. sealed and just sticker sealed? It's common on DS and 3DS. What do you mean? I mean, if the game is sticker sealed, then you can't remove the sticker. 
If it's a random, unbranded sticker, you remove it. If it's something like fair EB warning. Games or Funko Land, you'll leave them on there. That's fair. Yeah, some people prefer leaving stickers for sure. <clears throat> like I'm taking off Blockbuster, Toys R Us, Funko Land. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm taking those stickers fair off. <laughs> nothing's uh, nothing's staying on there. Seven hundred fifty dollars. Even your wife who doesn't care about games loves Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, it strikes me as one of those games. Like, obviously not as popular as Mario, but like one of those games where everyone knows Donkey Kong Country. $800. Everyone knows Donkey Kong Country. You're interested to see what Super Bonk goes for. You got yours back from WADA and it's top of the pop. Let's go, dude. That's huge. Fair warning. Yeah, Super Bonk coming up as a 9.2A later. Jeez. Next Knights one. or King Arthur and the Knights of Justice did go up to nine hundred dollars in the end, so it did get. I think I am thinking of Knights of the Round. I think I am thinking of Knights of the Round. What's Knights of the Round on? Where's that game? What's this game? Fair warning. <laughs> why? Why is King Arthur tricking me here? Lamborghini nine point eight A plus there, going for six hundred and sixty. The Lion King nine point eight A Japan copy. <clears throat> oh man, the Lion King here, easily over fifteen hundred. One thousand. A SNES beat him up. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking Knights of the Round. So is this game good? This uh, Knights or King Arthur? Now I don't even know. Do people care about King Arthur and the Knights of Justice? Now, now I now forget everything I said. Now I just don't know. Fair warning. The Lion King, the 9.8A Japan early copy here. Seven hundred dollars. Knights of the Round is a Capcom beat 'em up. No, it's not good. <laughs> well, there we go. There Fair we warning. go. Next lot. $300. The beat em up is Knights of the Round, what King Arthur should have been. $80. Yep, I was thinking of Knights of the Round. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Super Nintendo isn't my, uh, it's not my main specialty, I'll tell you that much. The Lion King, the 9.8A going for 1920 and The Lost Vikings, 80 $400. plus here. I, mean, I do want to check out Lion King. $20. I'm sure we've had early print copies of this sell for a lot as well. $440. Four hundred sixty dollars. Four hundred eight. Early print copies of Lion King. There's fifteen of them on the pop report. We haven't seen the nine point eight A. Uh, there are two of them that exist. So nine point eight A last sold for twenty six hundred dollars back in August twenty twenty two. So nineteen hundred and twenty today. That's honestly not that bad. Down a little bit, but you know, like that's not bad going from Fair August twenty twenty two. Twenty six hundred bucks to uh nineteen hundred and twenty tonight. Dollars. Oh, Hiko, you won the Equinox. Nice. Uh, what's your connection to the game? I get Equinox is not a game I see a lot of people talk about, so I'm just curious where uh, why, where you get drawn to it. Next That's a lot. cool win. Like I said, I think it was Pop 3. So <laughs> not a whole lot of chances to win a factory sealed copy of Equinox. The Lost Vikings going for $600 into Mario Paint. Oversized big box here. Fair VGA warning. 80. Very cool. Very cool on Mario Paint. One thousand going up to nineteen hundred and twenty. A VGA eighty on this, not the highest grade in the world. Almost two thousand dollars. Fair warning. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, bad. King Arthur's World, Next decent. Lot. Knights of the Round, amazing. One thousand one hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need there. I need to keep that painted there. Like I need to write that down, Seth. Mario Paint going for eighteen hundred dollars. Very cool. I like I would I never played Fair Mario warning. Paint so I don't have like a super desire to own it. Ugh. But just because of how nice it displays and how it's like not nostalgic but it just um like I'm not nostalgic for it but like it oozes nostalgia. Does that make sense? Can you can someone say something like that? Like Mario Paint just looks like freaking Super Nintendo. Like it just Fair embodies warning. Super Nintendo. So, I'd like to own one, but like, you know, $2,000. Yeah. Mario Fun early numbers here. 8.5A going for 1320 Some of the rarest uh, Mario games. This preschool fun and this fun with numbers. Just impossibly difficult. Second highest graded copy here out of just four. Preschool fun. 8.0A. I feel like once upon a time we saw this sell for like fuck all. An 8.5B plus went for 780 bucks back in July 2023. 
Next I feel like we saw it do even worse once upon a time, but 1,320 to tonight. They both went for 1,320. Mario, fun with numbers. If you're doing a uh, a full Mario set, I mean, I guess you got to buy these ones, right? I'll have to look at Gamer Stonks quick there. I feel like we saw this maybe go for like, is this... Uh, War of the Gems, Marvel Super Heroes, 9.4A plus uh, Mexico copy later production here. Pushing its way up over $500. I do want to see fun with numbers. Let's take a peek. Uh, fun Fair with one. numbers. Yeah, there it is. Jeez, man. I'm thinking Next all the way back in June 2022. Oh, $420 for an 8.0B plus, eh? Um, wow. <laughs> June 2022. I, I just, I remember there was one time where this game just got no love at auction. And that's when it was. June 2022. This 8.5A last sold for $1,000 back Fair in December 2021. So, hey, from December 2021, Mario, fun with numbers. That's up. The price is up, baby. <clears throat> Invest now. Marvel, War of the Gems, $552. Mickey Mania, 9.2A+. Equinox is the sequel to Solus. Fair you one. love it. Recently beat it, but not for everyone. That's awesome. Equinox is a great game. Next That's one. cool to see. $700. Mickey Mania going for $720. Power Rangers 9.0A. I remember this being awesome. We rented this back when I was Fair a one. kid. And like, I remember this game being really, really fun. Next but, but I like never played it after we rented it. You know what I mean? So in my head, I have these like really weird memories of this awesome Power Rangers game, but I've never played it since. <laughs> Sold for $780 though, 9.0A. It, it's fun seeing Power Rangers still get some love. On the Ball, 9.8A+. Tied with one other example for the highest graded copy of On the Ball on Wada's Pop Report out of just three total. Published by Taito. $600. Or Taito. I say Tato. <laughs> potato, potato, am I right? <laughs> What's the heavy hitter so far? Um, The Zelda Odin. I don't know if you saw it. The 9.8A plus Zelda went for 43000 Next lot. That was far and away the most expensive game we've seen so far. Donkey Kong Country was like 4500 Contra was 3000 Um, I don't even know if we've had anything else over 10000 to be honest with you. Fair warning. <clears throat> On the ball, going for 660. Pack Attack, 9.6A+. Yeah, like uh, Pack Attack, they, they were also saying there's barely any on the pop report. $552 for Pack Attack. Pitfall, 9.6A+. Made in Japan, early production. Tied with one other example for the Fair highest warning. out of just six. Like I was saying with a lot of the Super Nintendo stuff, for whatever reason, it's like Pop 5, Pop 6, Pop 2. Just <laughs> Super Nintendo collectors have it freaking tough, man. Super Nintendo collectors have it tough. Yeah, Equinox, Staff of Demons. Exactly, Seth. Exactly. <clears throat> Fair warning. You bought these Marios? You got ripped, though? They went for like six fifty last year, but you were busy at work. Had to get them to complete the Mario. Hey, Liberty Lovers, so look at that. Hey, you are looking to complete your Mario set. Yeah, that's the one I found, man. June 2022, Liberty Lover. Um, The one Mario Fair sold warning. for like $600. So yeah, you uh, those Mario's didn't go cheap tonight. The Mario's did not go cheap tonight. I'll tell you that much. But <laughs> they're they're just I don't know. It's like if you don't buy those Mario fun with numbers games, you probably just won't ever get them. They just don't pop up Fair ever. Warning. They just don't exist. Next lot. Pitfall closing at three hundred and thirty six dollars. That actually doesn't feel bad at all. Um. Not much love for Pitfall there on Super Nintendo. Just given it's like a pop six, second, or tied for highest grade. You know what I mean? Yeah, Zelda won on NES Odin. Fair it was one. a 9.8A plus later production copy. Next lot. Uh, Rocco's $500. Modern Life. Or Dangerous? Yeah, Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, 9.2A. $780. Rocco as well is one of those cartoon shows that I caught like right at the tail end. Like I've seen episodes of Rocco, but like... You know what I mean? I, I I don't know anything about it. Seven hundred eighty dollars for Rocco there. Saturday Night Slam Masters, bit of a cult classic wrestling game here. 
Uh, people like this one, published by Capcom, 9.0A. Never played it myself, but it's always had value. People have always talked about it. People like Saturday Night's Landmasters. It's one of those games I want to try out sometime, because I like fighting games. Or wrestling games, I mean, sorry. Craig, you want Power Rangers and Zero. Rocco. There we go. Power Rangers is cool. That Power Rangers game was fun on Genesis for you. Don't know if the SNES version is the same. I don't even remember which one I played anymore. Nothing you're bidding on today. More in selling mode these past months. It just depends, Rob. It just Fair depends. Warning. Like, a Super Nintendo, I rarely will ever bid on anyway. Next I, I'm trying to be, with my collecting these days, 2024, I'm trying to be a lot more selective in general, so... Equinox is an underrated, niche, rare Fair and one warning. of the, the most under-the-radar unique SNES games. It's such a vivid memory playing it as a kid because no other SNES game was like it. I'd give you no, but it's Solstice 2. That is crazy. Like, that's awesome to hear that you're such a big fan of the game and that you were finally able to secure yourself a factory-sealed copy. Yeah, someone else in chat there was saying it was Solstice 2 as well. I had no idea. But that is awesome, man. Congratulations on the win and, like, thank you so much for the 1999. Absolutely huge, Hiko. Absolutely huge. You were hoping no Fair one would warning. bid because no one cares, but I was battling someone on Heritage Live. I know, and I also, like, po lot. pointed attention to it, too. <laughs> $50. I think I pointed out how rare it is and, like, yeah. Oops. Sorry about that, Hiko. Hopefully it, uh, you know, hopefully all is fair that's fair. Soldiers Fair of Fortune one. went for $750. That's 9.88 plus into SOS 9.08. Uh, just really rare, uncommon, whatever you want to call it. This is just uncommon Super Nintendo. 9.08 $2, for $870. Uh, Space Ace 9.68 plus. This one ended so freaking quick, I couldn't even see how many were on the pop report. Um, second highest graded on the pop report out of only three. Yeah. $420. SOS is just freaking uncommon as hell space ace only four copies on the pop report none are rated higher than this one so 9.68 plus copy of space ace fifty dollars highest graded one on the wad of pops six hundred six hundred and fifty dollars Rocco is awesome. $700. Equinox and Solstice are smart, tough games, tough puzzles, tough 3D isometric platforming. Super interesting. I know you know it's hard to find, so I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. Fair warning. Yeah, I have little knowledge about, like, you know, Super Nintendo, I have, Next like, a one. little bit of knowledge about everything, but I don't have, like, really good deep knowledge about a lot of stuff. I just have that little bit of knowledge about stuff. I, I'm, I'm, I know which games Fair I'm supposed warning. to keep my eyes open for if I'm at a game store. Space Ace goes for seven hundred eighty dollars. Space Invaders nine point eight eight plus plus for seven hundred fifty. I'm actually kind of surprised Space Invaders brought in that much. Um, are there still cases of Space Invaders out there? Or has it dried up? Seven hundred fifty bucks. Spider Man Maximum Carnage nine point eight a plus copy limited edition early production here with the red cartridge inside. Pushing up to 900 bucks. SOS went too cheap? What does SOS sell for as a Fair CIB warning. these days, D-Rob? I think it's only ever sold at auction once before. Yeah, 9.2A plus sold in May for $600. So, I mean, <laughs> the sale for SOS tonight was a new record. That's a brand new record Fair on warning. SOS. <laughs> Take it that way. $50. You can post it. Post it to socials as a brand new record. SOS. I have no idea what this game is or what the gameplay even is. Like, not even a sniff. Not even a sniff. Uh, there's a CGC one. No, is this a different game? Is this the other copy? No, there's this one right here. For 600 bucks. Fair warning. So, one other copy has sold. $900. Are you destined to survive or fated to a watery grave? Is, is this game good? It sounds kind of cool, actually. The more I'm looking at this SOS, the more I'm, like, getting into it. <laughs> is it a good game? <laughs> Maximum Next Carnage, 9.4A+, closing at $1,000. Just over 1000 for it. Super bomb. Oh, sorry, you meant CIB, no recent sales. That's crazy, jeez. That's crazy there's not even uh, recent sales on uh, SOS, jeez. CIB, I mean. Super Bonk 9.2A, quickly shooting up to almost $700 here. Gamers Tonks, 
proving job wrong <laughs> one game at a time. Shout out to gamerstonks.com, baby. That's why we pay for that membership. So we can check the uh we can check comps on the fly for rare games like SOS. Fair warning. Brought to you by gamerstonks.com. What a website. What a website. The Super Bonk 9.2A here is over $700. I actually want to see Maximum Carnage as well. And Rick, 25 months. You'll love to see it. Maximum Carnage was 9.4A plus. Last sold June 2023, over a Fair year one. ago for 1200 Basically zero drop in Maximum Carnage between sales Next there. Uh, still selling for $1,000. Super Bonk, $780. This is probably super low on the pop too, hey? Uh, fourth copy. There's eight examples on the water pop report of Super Bonk. 9.2A plus CGC last sold for $900. 9.2A, $780. Hovering in that range right there. Super Chase HQ is a 9.6A+. plus. Only copy on the Wada Pop Report. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Fair you, like, why is Super Chase HQ a freaking Pop 1? Why is this a Pop 1? That's crazy. Looking for $960 right now. $900. Uh, over 1,000 easy there. Um, way over 1,000. Fifth, over 1,500. Did it freaking? Did people get excited once they realized it's a pop one? My gosh. Maximum Carnage has been going light for too long with only 24 copies on the pop. That one seems undervalued. That's interesting. It's only pop Fair 24, warning. actually. 9.4A plus. If we just go to red Next cartridges lot. here. Only 18 on the pop. 9.4A plus only has one, two, four nicer copies. Six tied and four nicer. You know, I think I'd agree with you that Maximum Fair Carnage well, really isn't selling at much of a premium. Super Chase HQ, freaking 1800 for the Pop 1 9.6A plus. Wow. Wow. Uh, 18 warning. if you only consider first print set. Super Mario Kart, 7.0C plus. No game pack. This is an actual first production black label copy. Only seven of these on the pop report. Fair Just warning. rare as hell. $2,400. And Comex. Thanks for all you do for the hobby, Greg, less than three. Eight freaking months in the Greg gang, dude. Thanks to you and Rick. Much Fair appreciated, warning. you guys. Brady, you went in for the Chase Next HQ, one. dude. Are you putting you're putting together a full Super Nintendo sealed set, hey? That is your long-term goal, Brady, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, fuck. I guess when these Pop 1 games come up, you just you kind of got to fight for them, hey? Fair That's one. tough, man. Jeez. Congratulations, but like 50-year goal, Next yeah. <laughs> On your deathbed, you can finally like hold the last Super Nintendo game. <laughs> Super Mario Kart, the 7.0C Plus, brought in $2,600. Super Off-Road, 9.2A Plus, going for $601. Super Off-Road, the Baja. <laughs> Super Off-Road, Baja Blast, 9.6A. Made in Japan, one. early production copy there, going for $384. Super Turrican 2, 8.5A. Just a rare, hard-to-find game that people like on Super Nintendo. Seven copies on the Pop Report. We'll see what Super Turrican 2 does. $950. The Super Mario Kart. Um, I, This is like... Am, am I an idiot for saying that, like, Fair I warning. might buy this? Like, this doesn't... Like, it's a C-plus seal. Obviously, that's not great. Next lot. There's a tear in the box with the spine in the top. I mean, it displays really freaking nice. Like, I'm sure the top just looks like absolute shit, but, like, being that it's only a Pop 7 Fair actual warning. first print, I mean, that's... that's Kind of affordable. That's Next where a guy one. like me kind of uh, tries to go in, you know? Super Turrican 2 going for $1,000 there. SWAT Cats, 9.6A plus for $1,440. Tom and Jerry, 9.6A plus. By far the highest copy of Tom and Jerry between both variants on the pop report. $1,100. Yeah, all these Super Nintendo and NES games today, man, it just feels like it's like top of the pop on like everything. Feels like it's top of the pop or, you know, one of pop three. Just nuts how much good stuff they have in this auction. And it's almost crazy that there's going to be another one. And when did I say? Another one's coming up in June. March, April, May, June. In three months, we're going to have another one of these auctions. 
<laughs> I, I'm like, call me Fair skeptical warning. that they're going to be able to get this many good games again. Next lot. It seems crazy. Tom and Jerry, nine point six eight plus for eighteen hundred dollars. Jesus. Um. Yeah, like this is just rare, hard to find Super Nintendo games here. Toys, nine point oh a on this. Uh, this is the highest graded copy of Toys amongst just three on the Pop Report. Next lot. Um, toys, one hundred fifty nine dollars. Is that the lowest game we've seen all auction? One. It's a Pop three, highest graded copy of Toys. <laughs> like what? 159 bucks. Hopefully if you needed this one, Brady, it just fell into your lap. Jeez. Ultima, Runes of Virtue. 9.6A plus. Tied with one other example, highest graded copy on the December pop report. Just 14 total. You thought SWAT Cats went low. Fair warning. SWAT Cats went for $1,440. I don't know if SWAT Cats really translates to the factory sealed crowd. Um, because I know it's an expensive CIB, isn't it? What is it? There's a pop eight. Uh, it's the highest Fair copy. It's the highest sale we've ever seen on SWAT cats. 1440. Uh, last sold for 780 all the way back in 2019. So, SWAT cats is still doubling its 2019 price. It just simply never comes up. Um, yeah. 1440. Fair warning. I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard one to say. I don't have much analysis to give you. It is a record price on the auction houses though. It is a record price. Ultima, Runes of Virtue is pushing up to over a thousand dollars. No, I know twenty nineteen doesn't mean much. It's just like it's all I got. <laughs> it's all I got to give you. <clears throat> I just don't know if SWAT Cats is like a super sought after like factory sealed title. It's kinda of like Super Turrican 2 here. Like, it's almost more valuable, more sought after as a CIB. And the factory sealed copy here goes for $1,000. Aren't CIB copies of this like three, four hundred bucks still on Super Turrican 2? Am I crazy? Fair Ultima, over a thousand dollars here. <clears throat> Looking for fourteen hundred and forty. Someone just used their cut bid there on Ultima. <clears throat> This awesome, auction is awesome. So many nice titles. Who are bidding these numbers 1, on SNES? You want to see some accountability in the chat? There's a few people in here, Jonathan. There's a few people in here who have some won some games already. There's a few people. Fair That's a nice Tom and Jerry made in Japan. So hard to find. Congrats to the winner. SNES has all these classic cartoon games. Yeah, that is a really cool thing about SNES. Like I said, I wish I was like a, a little bit... Um, Fair warning. Just like if I was a little bit older, I would resonate with more of these uh, cartoon video games. I just basically missed. I mean, I only owned like nine Super Nintendo games as a kid. So I, I kind of Fair almost warning. missed the entire Super Nintendo era. I know N64 is coming up Next in just slot. a bit here, Mickey. You're actually just in time. Dollars. Super Nintendo's coming to a close right away. And then we're going into Game Boy and then N64, right? Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Game Boy consoles, N64. Yes. Still coming out. It's probably like 30 minutes away still, Next to be honest lot. with you. Ultraman, 9.48 for 552 bucks. Ultima did finally close at 1620 The Untouchables, 9.88 plus. Fair warning. I want to see also the... Uh, Next lot. I want to see how Ultima did. Virtual Bart, 8.5A. UPC drilled. What? They were drilling UPCs on Super Nintendo games? Holy shit. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh, they, they literally like took a drill and put it through the UPC so the game couldn't be resold. I, I just didn't know that was a thing done on Super Nintendo games. Damn. That's crazy. Um, It's an 8.5A. Only one of three copies. Only the second time selling it, it's over three thousand frickin' dollars. It's over three thousand dollars. <laughs> wow. Um. Phew. All right. We'll just we'll just type in Virtual Bart. Let's see what's going on here. Fair warning. Three thousand uh, dollars. nine point two A plus three thousand dollars at gold, and that was in twenty twenty two. So that's the most we've ever seen it sell for. 9.28 plus warning. for $3,000 at Golden uh, a year and a half ago. 
This coffee Next tonight, 8.5A, setting a brand new record on Virtual Bart in a lower grade. Like, 3,360. Someone got themselves a Virtual Bart. That's, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> All righty. Wayne Gretzky in the NHLPA All-Stars, 9.4A+. You have a VGA copy? Nice. I mean, ugh, paying the highest price ever for this game. Fair warning. With a hole in it. With a drill hole in it. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm I'm torn. I'm torn as to if this should even be an 8.5A with a drill hole in it. Like how Fair bad warning. is a drill hole? 8.5 almost seems generous. Dollars. I have some pretty nice 8.5s where I'm like, man, that's only an 8.5? And this game has a, like a, a fucking hole in it. Gretzky and the All-Stars is getting a little bit of love here, actually. Pushing up over $400. Next lot. $456 bucks for Gretzky. Into Weapon Lord, 9.4A. Second highest graded copy of Weapon Lord on the pop report. $340. Yeah, I also thought it was a PS1 thing. I think I've seen it on PS2 as well. I think. But I definitely thought it was like PS1, PS2. The fact that Bruce Fair Lee one. Dragon and Dirt Tracks outsold Turrican 2 and SWAT Cats Next speaks lot. volumes. <laughs> what kind of volumes does it speak though, Jonathan? Is that saying that this market is like collector-centric these days? Five. It, I, I, I don't know what it I don't know what it says. $50. Dirt Tracks and Bruce Lee outsold Turk and two and SWAT cats. I don't know what to make of it, man. Weapon Lord went for 384 into Wing Commander Secret Missions. The Secret Missions. 9.88 a plus. Top copy on the pop Fair report one. out of just three. You're going for Gretzky, but just lost. Still think it sold low. Was that Gretzky? What was the pop on that one? I missed it, D-Rob. That must be a perfect game otherwise. That's what I was thinking. It literally has to be case fresh. Fair that warning. Bart had better be case fresh. Like if you remove that drill Next hole, that's one. a 9.88 A++. Otherwise, I just don't understand. Secret Missions went for 720 bucks. Wolf Child, 9.4 A. Second highest graded copy of Wolf Child out of just five total. See, like there's a ton of Super Nintendo games here where I just have no commentary. I, I just don't know anything. Weapon Lord, Wing Commander, Wolf Child here. Uh, World Heroes 2, at least I'm familiar with. But you get into these more Fair niche war. titles and like... I just... I don't got a whole lot to tell Next you guys on these ones. 240, 340 Wolf Child going for 264 there into World Heroes 2. 9.6A plus. $480. This is the highest graded copy out of just two on the pop report. Like, What? <laughs> In cardboard, it should be like a 5.5 tops. You could probably find a non-drill hole version of the game. Uh, what do you mean, Rick? Why wouldn't these Fair games warning. be in legacy cases? $600. These are a lot of the highest pop, second highest pop games. Um, $700. You wanted to go higher on Gretzky, but the voice, Greg's voice in your head was saying Gamer's Donk says no. <laughs> Gretzky's pop 10, and that's the highest one by far. <laughs> $900. Now, what's Gretzky? What does Gretzky have to say about this here? $950. I mean, yeah, Gretzky has never sold for that much, even historically. 9.4A plus copy there. I mean, uh, if you would have pushed it higher, I would have said that's A-OK. -okay. I think Gretzky could have went for $600. If it, like, 660 Next 720 lot. I'd be like, ah. $600. But 600 bucks, baby, you could have pushed Gretzky. You're being cheap out there, D-Rob. You're being cheap. That Gretzky's a steal. <laughs> World Heroes 2 went for $1,140. 9.6A plus into WWF Royal Rumble. 9.6A plus. Gretzky has legs, baby. Weapon Lord is a brutal and bloody fighting game. Fair warning. Next lot. It seems like the hole is treated the same as a crack on a plastic case or a tear on cardboard. Maybe that is what they did, but like, it seems weird to me. Seems weird to me. Royal Rumble went for $1,000 there, the 9.6A+. plus. Yoshi's Cookie is a 9.4B plus here. Mm. There's only one other copy on the Wada Pop Report? What? First time at Heritage Auctions. What? $550. 
That is um really weird to me. I didn't realize Yoshi's cookie was that um sparse. Like in my head, this isn't rare at all. But frick, there's like zero on the Wada Pop report. <laughs> there must be some rarity there, right? That is super weird. Uh, Yoshi's Cookie, 9.4 B plus here, pushing its way up over $800. Yeah, maybe Fair in my work. head I just blend it together with Yoshi's Safari. Um, or maybe Next I just lot. think of the uh, NES versions, which are kind of easy to find. But $780 for Yoshi's Cookie. Damn. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, 9.6 A plus. Fair warning. People love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's a game that I have never had a chance to play myself. Lock, they even did the freaking limited run remake of this game. Like Zombies truly is just like cult classic. 9.6 A plus there for 1,620. The Water Pop Report is a few months behind. Yes, that's true as well. That is true as well. Mm -mm. Super Nintendo console unused. So I think it's opened. Oh yeah, so it's opened and the contents inside are all brand new. Fair so one. it would be VGA qualified if you were to send this in for grading. Uh, 1, looking for 2000 over 2000 It's a qualified 2, console, it just isn't graded. It looks like the box might be faded. Yes. So you, you realistically, you could buy this. You could take the brand new Fair innards one. and you could pair it with a mint box. 2000 $400. And you could make yourself a very nice VGA qualified Super Nintendo console. Oh, there were a few new case games in this auction, Fair Rick, one. but I'm guessing, like, because a lot of this stuff is, I mean, we had Indiana collection, we have top pop type stuff, second highest pop type stuff. I'm guessing this is a lot of stuff that has been curated, uh, like, a while ago. I would assume this is, like, 2020, 2021 stuff for a lot of it. I haven't been looking at the, uh, I haven't been looking at the cases, but I assume these are... Oh, man, this is 2023. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why there aren't in new cases. Fair Maybe warning. the person just likes Legacy. I couldn't tell you. A 75-plus Donkey one. Kong Country unfolded box $55. here. $139. Uh, Super Mario All-Stars. This is also a unfolded factory flat box. VGA 85. I don't know how much, like, I, I don't know. These are kind of neat to me, but I also kind of don't care. Personal opinion on these, like, flat boxes. $120. The majority being legacy could be a delay between Heritage getting the consignment versus allocating it into the auction. That could be. Fair warning. I'm thinking of the NES game. It does... Game is super populated on NES, Yoshi's Cookie. I must be D-Rob. It must be just in my brain there that I'm getting them mixed up or just mixing them together. A uh, 6CZ, you won the Yoshi's Cookie. Congratulations. Yeah, I wasn't aware of how rare that was. Damn. Fair warning. Mario's Mario All-Stars unfolded box there for $139. Yoshi's Island, 85 plus unfolded box. Pushing up to almost 400 and some here. Like, if you win one of these, do you just fold it? Fair do you warning. fold it and create a mint CIB? Or do you just keep it like this? Next lot. Like, what, what do people do with these? $432 for the unfolded Yoshi's Island box. And here's Super Metroid, 80 plus. Factory flat unfolded box. $360. Like, I assume people just leave them flat, right? You have to. Surely. You were talked about them uh, consigning some stuff and was told it takes time and that there's no guarantee about it going into a weekly versus a signature is why you end up private selling versus consigning. Ah, fair. That's fair. That is a bit risky if you uh, if you don't know. But No, you don't fold it? Oh, come on, Supyo. Come on, Supyo. I'm pretty sure I've folded two or three boxes in my collecting career. One that I can think of was on Game Gear. Um, it was a box for Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I bought an unfolded box and I just folded it into a beautiful CIV. <laughs> so my, uh, my Dr. Robotnik's on Game Gear. $900. Really nice condition. Worth it. Worth every penny, baby. Super Metroid, the 80 plus is fucking pushing, man. Uh, over $1,000 here. Fair An 80 plus on this. Unfolded factory fresh. Next lot. Three hundred sixty four hundred thousand dollars for the Super Metroid. Four hundred eighty dollars. Five hundred fifty dollars. 
A thousand dollars for the 80 plus Super Metroid. I don't know. I don't know, man. Seems like a lot of money to me. Chrono Fair Trigger is a 9.4. Oh my god. Easily the top copy. I'll even throw a bit. Holy shit. 9.4 CGC Player's Choice Chrono Trigger Guidebook. No one else bid. Can I just win this? That'd be cool. Fair warning. Seven hundred dollars. I didn't think I was going You've to win. You've been outbid. Um, I didn't think I was going to win. Um, oh, man, eight hundred and forty bucks, eh? Fair warning. Fuck. One more. Seven hundred. And this feels speculative as hell. You want to bid now that Greg is? Yeah, you stay away. You stay away. Yo, Garrett, welcome, dude. Good to see you in the live as well. Fair warning. We gonna win this? Oh man, I, I I thought I thought You've been I actually thought I actually thought I was gonna win it there. I was nervous for a second. Man, man, I gotta let it go. Fair warning. I I I I, I gotta let it go. Next lot. I don't know, man. Seventy five. I don't know. I at nine hundred. Like I still think this is a deal. I still think this is undervalued. Like absolute, like um, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like one of the most popular games. You have the guidebook in absolute mint condition. I mean, I don't know, nine hundred bucks for it. I, I, I think this will age like fine wine. Personally, it's just not at all easy to get these players' guides in good condition. Seventy dollars. Because of course it's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a nine point four on this is just not going to happen. So. Oh man, man! I actually, I. Oh. Fair warning. Oh, I tell you, I tell you. Into Game Next Boy, slot. everybody. Into Game Boy. Twenty dollars. Three hundred sixty dollars. Like I said, for a split second there, I actually thought I was gonna win it. For one split second. Yeah, bid for Toriyama's memory. Exactly right. Like th this. Fair this warning. book has so much going for it, man. This book has so much going for it. Dollars. That is. Ah. Damn. Four hundred. <laughs> I I still I'm sitting here having regret already. I feel like I should have bid one more time. Bonk's Adventure, eight point five A plus. It's gonna end up being like fucking title dreams who want it or something. I'll just see it on eBay for fifteen hundred bucks. Bonk's Next Adventure, eight point five A plus going for four hundred and eighty dollars. Casper is a freaking ninety five plus. Oh my god. Um <laughs> that's a big grade there on on uh, Casper. Yeah, Shockla just won a uh, just won a crispy Chrono Trigger booklet. I bet you 1, did, Shockla. I bet you did. One thousand. I bet you did. Casper just exploded. We <laughs> were sitting around a thousand dollars, and it immediately jumped up to two thousand. Looking for two thousand one hundred and sixty now on Casper. That was very fast bidding. Fair warning. Yeah, just being like Next one slot. of the biggest RPGs ever. You have the Toriyama dollars. art style. You have an all-white book, Super Nintendo era strategy guide, highest on the pop report. Four hundred eighty dollars. Ay ay ay. Five hundred fifty dollars. Six hundred. Two thousand dollars for Casper there into Donkey Kong Land. Nine point six A plus Canadian version. It's Donkey Kong, eh? Nine point six A plus warning. here. How long until we see Canadian copies Next become their slot. own variants, their own collectible? $660 to Donkey Kong Land. How long until people say, hey, I'm looking for the Canadian copy of Donkey Kong Land? Have you guys seen it? Here's Fighting Simulator 2-in-1, Flying Warriors 9.6A++. Only one graded higher out of five on the pop report, selling for $204. Uh, Final Fantasy Legend Sunsoft release here. 9.6A+. Final Fantasy Legend 2, sorry. $700. Uh, Canada will never be its own collectible. <laughs> Canada will never have its own interest. <laughs> I mean, uh, I kind of feel war. the same way, Rick, but... I also wouldn't be shocked if sometime in the future uh, people actually cared somewhat about finding a Canadian variant. You know what I mean? $750. Someone looking for the Canadian copy of Donkey Kong Land. And they'll be impossible to find. They'll be hard as hell. They'll be Fair rare warning. as hell. You won't be able to find them. 
Final Fantasy Legend 2, the Sunsoft release here, 9.6A+, plus, going for 840. Final Fantasy dollars. Legend 3, 9.6A+. Plus. Also, Sunsoft release on this one. <laughs> Maple syrup in the barrels, exactly. Instead of a big rhino, you ride Fair on a warning. big beaver. It's it's the perfect game. The perfect game. Uh, two Pokemon games coming up here, speaking of. And we're almost at Nintendo. We have some um, some prototypes of Game Boy. We have some Game Boy Color Fair consoles. Warning. We have Dark Dual Stories. Oracle of Seas. There's still a lot of good stuff to go. Two hours into the auction. <laughs> uh, I think you're thinking of the wrong beaver there, hamster. I, 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 I fear you. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. never mind. Canadian price variant comics can sell for large premiums as well as lots of Star Wars action Fair figures. Eh? Hey? Uh, look at that, Rick. Look at that, Rick. Video games are just going to copy comic books. Video games are just going to copy toys. It's only a matter of time, baby, until we become rich Fair on our warning. Canadian variants. $1,000. Only a matter of time until we get our Canadian variant money. Legend 3 here. They're absolutely bleeding the clock. Looking for $1,200 here. Letting it count down every Fair single warning. time. $1,100. Got the $1,000 bid on it. Looking for $1,320. Pokemon Blue is a 9.4 A plus late print copy here. Already sitting at 4,200, actually. And Pokemon Red is a sand truth. 8.0 A sitting at 2,300. You sold all of your Canadian junk? <laughs> I, um... Fair I don't even know if I have any sealed Canadian variants anymore. I think I have, like, a Canadian copy of Gears of War 2. Is that going to be valuable? Or a sealed copy of uh, Red Dead Undead Nightmare? Is that going to be valuable? Fair warning. $1,500. Usually it has 10% of the population at 10% um, of the print run. Jeez. Now hmm. yeah, you still have some Canadian print PS2 stuff. Fair there warning. we go. $1,600. You still got some Canadian print PS2 stuff. Also, this Final Fantasy Legend 3. Tied with one other copy for the highest graded of this variant on the pop report. None graded one. higher numerically. Sunsoft 9.6A plus finally coming to an end at $1,800. Yeah, usually it's just bilingual, Garrett. You might have French on the front or French on the back. But yeah, generally speaking, it's just bilingual. Fair warning. Pokemon Blue 9.4A plus. Uh... Any, yeah, a few bids Next came one. in there, I think. Selling for 49, almost five grand. Jeez. For the late print 9.4A plus. Into Pokemon Sand Shrew Red 8.0A. Looking for $4,000. Looking for over $4,000 here. 8.0A Sand Shrew. We'll check out the comp on Pokemon Blue here as well. Going for just about $5,000. Fair warning. I think that's pretty decent for a late print, if I'm not mistaken. Next lot. $320. Um, well, let's just filter to those. We'll filter to late prints here. $9.4A went for $4,300 August 2022. Um, 9.6A plus went for $5,500. Why did we barely ever see these late prints? Jeez, let's just go to Rattata. 9.4A Rattata, better print. 4,500. That was July 2023. I mean... Fair yeah. Warning. That's uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby for a 9.4A plus uh, late lot. print there at 5,000. And 4,000 for the 8.0A, hey? Sand true. I'll take a peek at that in a second too. Solomon's Club was a 9.4A plus for 426. Spot, Cool Adventures, 9.0A plus. Fair warning. Let's grab Pokemon Red. Next lot. Andrew. $1,900. Andrew Red just went for $4,000. I mean, 8.5A plus back in September 2022 for 3700 2300 on Golden? Really? Is this Next real? Next lot. 
Tetris is here. I <laughs> missed it. 2160 for 7.5A. Look at that, hey. 8.0A plus on Golden for $2,300. That was back October 2022. What a freaking snag for someone on this one. That's crazy. Um, 4,000 for the, the sand true red doesn't seem crazy though. That seems pretty much where it goes. Cool spot went for 264 bucks. Tetris 7.5A going for 2,160. Dan, here's Turrican 9.4A plus. A Sunsoft release, later production. I didn't even realize Fair that Turrican had a uh, variant on Game Boy. Who published the early print on Turrican? If Sunsoft is later, who did the earlier one? Does anyone know? How much, like, what do you think Fair those warning. Pokemon games should have went for, Rick? They don't seem crazy to me. <laughs> you just bought a Canadian Next sealed one. Red Dead as well? <laughs> Let's go, Comac. You're a smart man. $160. Smart man, Comac. The Canadian future is coming, baby. $160. Now we enter into a bit of prototypes here, starting off with Battle Unit Zeoth. <laughs> Nintendo Campus Challenge Prototype Cartridge. Fair warning. This is traced back to a former Nintendo employee. Its origins lie in the Nintendo comp Campus Challenge competitions. What? $340. This is also Nintendo Campus Challenge prototype cartridge. The cartridge used as a promotional tool at the revered Nintendo Campus Challenge competitions enables attendees to witness the grit and spirit of Double Dragon firsthand. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about the Nintendo Campus Challenge. Fair warning. Does anyone know why these would have existed? Like, I'm aware of the Campus Challenge Super Nintendo prototype. TJDD. Fair warning. I just don't know enough about it. But they're coming directly from an old Nintendo employee and used at Campus Challenge, I guess. Which is kind of crazy. Accolade. Accolade made Turrican. Thank you. Fair warning. I'll try and remember that. Love the content. Is the PS2 game more or less valuable with hang tab on it? It honestly doesn't make a difference, Drew. Like whether it has a plastic hang tab on the back or not, doesn't make a difference. If the hang tab is Fair dirty, warning. ripped, like looks like shit, that'll make a difference. But assuming the hang tab Next is slide. like, you know, nice, clear, plastic, flat, doesn't make a difference. You feel like you just got a good deal on Turrican. Doesn't look like a strong 9.4, but still. I Fair mean, you warning. only bought 780. I thought it was 400 bucks. Um, has it even sold before, Next Eloist? <laughs> $110. Whoops. The Double Dragon prototype went for 720. Dr. Mario prototype going for 1260. Uh, this is F1 Race. All of these are from the same employee, it looks like, and all used to promote at the uh, Nintendo Campus Challenge event. So here's F1 race. Yeah, no worries, Drew. No, no worries, man. Fair it only warning. sold in 2021. Turrican, is that the... Uh, oh, yeah, 9.6A plus slot. first print for $1,680. 9.6A plus plus uh, second print for $4,560. So <laughs> uh, really hard to compare there. Uh, so many of these Game Boy games, Elois, it's just like, you know, you kind of just have to go with your gut. There's so few of them that exist that it's hard to be like, oh, you know, Turrican was a great deal. Like, who knows? The next time it comes up, it could sell for twice as much. It's just really hard to price these games that have no comps. F1 race went for 552 and here's Jack Nicholas Golf. Jack Nicholas Golf for the Game Boy. Cartridge used to demonstrate and promote the games at Nintendo Campus Challenge. Next lot. Um, eight hundred. Yeah, seven hundred and twenty bucks. So all the prototypes there went for like five hundred, seven hundred, twelve hundred for Doctor Mario, seven hundred for Double Dollars. Dragon. Um, I think those are pretty dollars. solid sales for what they are. I think the provenance and everything definitely helps. But pretty cool, pretty cool on those Game Boy Pocket Blue VG eighty five here, pushing its way up over a thousand dollars. We have a bunch of Game Boy Color consoles coming up for those interested, as well as the Tommy Hilfiger Yellow. Yes, <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger partnered up with Nintendo Game Boy Color to release their own variant. Very, very cool. Fair warning. <laughs> we'll see what that sells for. It's already sitting at 630 there. The Next Pocket slot. Blue just closed at 1, 1320. $1, Oracle of Seasons. VGA85 non-foil copy. Oh my God, already at 2000 though? Holy shoot. 
Isn't that a lot for Oracle of Seasons? Fair warning. Next Man. Lot. Eighteen hundred and sixty for an eighty-five non-foil. Holy shit! Nine hundred fifty dollars. If that's the case, I'm never going to own this game. Oh my gosh! Uh, Dark Duel Stories. This is the later print variant here that uh, does not have the blue eyes within it. So nine point two A plus. Really cool collector game, but doesn't have the super valuable cards inside. There is an earlier variant that has uh, blue eyes, Dark Magician, and Exodia in it. This one having Ciaru, Salamandra, Fair and um, Acid Trap Hole, I think, are the three in this one. Next lot. 1,170 1, still. Just a really cool collector's game. Like, I, Dark Duel Stories is cool. Super, super early North American Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Game Boy Color 90 qualified. Atomic Purple with the hollow strip. A qualified 90 is still pushing up over 2,000, over 2,500 here. Qualified 90. 2, uh, looking for 2,880. Oh my gosh. Super high for a non-foil? That's what I'm thinking, Chocla. I, I guess I can just check the comps quick here. Fair warning. Oops. Game Boy Color. Next what was that? Lot. Oracle of Seasons? $550. $600. A non-foil 9.2A plus. Last sold on Golden Auctions. February 2024 for 500 bucks. 9.4A plus foil was in November for 1300 And I, I gotta stop. I gotta start shopping at Golden. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 466 bucks last month. Oh, oh, what a snag. Fair warning. What a snag. Over here on Heritage, it's freaking $1,860. $550. $2,640 for the qualified 90. Game Boy Color Console, VGA 75 for 870 VGA Console as well. This is Barry on this one, VGA 75. Yeah, title absolutely Fair shaking warning. as I give away his trade secrets. No doubt. Usually picked up Jazz Next Jackrabbit one. for the GBA as a 9.08 plus, but I guess the sun fading on the spine brought the grade down. Yeah, sun fading. I mean, I think it's lucky to even get a 9 with sun fading, to be honest. Sun fading really hurts grades, so um, 9.0 with sun fading sounds fair to me. Fair warning. Yeah, high price for qualified equals opened. I mean, 2600 for an open Game Boy Color to me, man, seems crazy. Six, like, that seems like a crazy price for a qualified, but like, geez. Uh, the Barry went for 780 VGA 80 on Teal, going for 1200 bucks. And here's the Tommy Hill figure. VGA 70 on this, looking for $1,000. Uh, not the nicest box variant. You know, they just kind of threw a sticker Next on it. Lot. Not the nicest, but... $460. $1,000 for the Tommy Hill figure. And we're finally into N64, folks. For, for anyone who has been waiting for the Nintendo 64 block, don't you wait any longer. Because it's here. We're about 75% done the auction here. We have 60 games to go. Just hang in there, folks. Just hang in there. The best is yet to come. Bunch of N64, some Game Boy Advance, then we get into some merch, and then we end off with, like I said, there's like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time cards, there's Donkey Kong Country cards, like, I, I don't Fair know work. how much this stuff is worth, I don't know much about these vintage Nintendo cards, lot. but, um, like, the Jump Attack link here is sitting at $186, I just don't know enough about these, but, whole bunch of trading cards coming up, make sure to check them out at the end of the auction here, and uh, get some bids in if you want to win some vintage Nintendo cards. Fair Bomberman Hero is a 9.2A plus for 576 into Doom 64, 9.4A plus plus. Maybe there'll be some deals to go around on uh, N64 stuff. Maybe everyone already spent all their money. Fair warning. N64 isn't usually this deep in the auction, honestly. Next lot. Doom 64 closing for 960 into Extreme G. Two. Only one copy graded higher, surprisingly, on the pop report. Only eight total, actually. 9.4A plus here on Extreme G2. Fair warning. In my head, this game isn't that hard to find, but like, geez, only eight on the pop report. And this is almost the highest graded copy. <clears throat> 
I just want to check the seal variant on this. Published by Acclaim. Fair warning. And it's using a three-side seam, yeah. Most of the Acclaim published games do that. I just wanted to make sure. And slowly but surely, a little bit of a bidding war here on Extreme G2. Fair warning. Bomberman Hero closed at 576, Next which honestly line. seems really healthy for Bomberman Hero. I'm going to look up comps on that quick. I don't know how often we see Bomberman Hero. $400. Um, but compared to Bomberman 64, it usually gets less attention. 9.2A, April 2022. Oh my god, we haven't seen this game in... We haven't seen this game in two years. <laughs> Holy shit. There's only nine on the pop report for Bomberman Hero. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, 576 for the 9.2A+. plus. There's just like nothing to compare it to. Oh, 6CZ, you grabbed the Bomberman Hero. Yeah, damn, dude. I didn't realize how uh, few of these come up. That's wild. I mean, you paid a hell of a lot Fair less warning. than the last 9.2 that sold, so congratulations on that. Like, what, 60% less? Seems like a solid pickup there compared to the 2022 pricing. Gauntlet Legends was a 9.9. .9. A little bit of a premium on it. $528. Fair That's warning. definitely more than a... Uh, then a 9.8 A++ would sell for. GoldenEye Player's Choice, 9.6 A++ for $2,500. Harvest Moon, 8.0 A+. Why are there no bids on this? There we go. We'll give Harvest Moon a You've little bit of outbid. juice there. It was sitting at like $400. Looking for $660. Still not that expensive. Do I cut bid? I'll cut Fair bid. Warning. Oh my god, I'm winning. $600. <laughs> and immediately outbid on You've Harvest been Moon. You've outbid. Hey, Shockla, I'm going to win myself a nice Harvest Moon. Like, I'll spend all my Chrono Trigger money. I didn't win that guidebook, but maybe I can win Harvest Moon. 8.08 <laughs> plus here. Looking for 720 Fair on it. Warning. $650. Oh, someone just sniped it at the end there. Looking for 780 These unfolded boxes are suspect. You can clearly see paint crack lines on that Doom. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Adam, in the Discord, we had been talking about that a lot with the unfolded boxes. That a lot of them just don't look good. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. It's already something I don't Fair have a ton warning. of interest in. And then looking at a lot of those ones, I agree. If you look at the pictures closely, uh, they look pretty sus. You have a Harvest Moon in this exact same condition? Get it bid up. <laughs> All right, slowly but surely, Fair we're looking for 840 now. Slowly but surely. Seven hundred fifty. Yeah, they're just letting the clock bleed every single time here. Looking for 900 now on Harvest Moon. I have so much time, I might as well just bring up the comps. Fair warning. Harvest Moon 64 is a pop 18. A little bit surprising on that. Pretty hard to find CIB. 9.0A plus last sold for 1440. Um, that's... Oh, 9.08 plus for 1100, I guess, is Fair the most warning. recent. CGC, July 2023. Oh, no, sorry. 9.08 plus WADA. February 2024, 1400 bucks. So the 8.0 going for 870. Uh, that seems to make sense. You go up from an 8.0 to a 9.0, 800 versus 1440. That makes sense to me. Not too shabby for Harvest Moon 64. Again, this almost feels like one of those games that's like more sought after as a cartridge in Fair CIB warning. than it is factory sealed. One thousand eight hundred. Like, aren't complete in box copies this still like two, three hundred dollars? Maybe more. I'll check price charts in a second. Majora's Mask is a nine point four eight plus here. Fair warning. Collector's edition copy. Slowly getting some bids there. Give me a chance to bring up price charts. What's a Harvest Moon 64 worth? Can't even spell. Fair warning. Hmm. Next lot. Uh, Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> oh, $200 CIB, right? So, yeah, like the, the premium to go from CIB up to factory sealed isn't that much on Harvest Moon. I'm talking like a 4X premium. Not a ton. Nine hundred fifty dollars. Majora's Mask selling for two thousand one hundred sixty nine point four A plus there, into an eight point five A plus CGC copy. One thousand one hundred dollars. I guess we'll see the difference between an eight point five and a nine point four. Um, I would think it should be at least two times as much. 
in my personal opinion, but it looks like this 8.5 here is already, I mean, the 8.5 is pushing up to four, looking for $1,400 now. 2160 for the 9.4A+. plus. Fair warning. This is a really close gap between the two copies. Next lot. The undercopy, the 8.5 selling for $1,320. Yeah, just an $800 jump there. 8.5 to 9.4. Mario Golf, VGA 80 plus. This game had some pretty crazy sales in the past there. Really hard to get nice copies of Mario Golf. I think any factory sealed copies aren't easy on this, but VGA 80 plus today looking for 660. Fair warning. Maybe Shockle isn't in here anymore. I thought they might actually be bidding on the Harvest Moon 64, but no words from them. No words. Mario Golf pushing up to almost eight over 800. And yeah, what's Mario Golf done? Fair warning. I know it had some pretty zany sales. Eight hundred dollars. Pop twenty nine only. <laughs> yeah, nine point four a plus seventy two hundred dollars. That was in twenty twenty two. That was August twenty twenty two. Oof. Nine hundred. Eight point five a plus last sold for twelve hundred bucks. That was in February. Uh, so that's what we're comparing to. So even this copy here, the uh, we're seeing an eighty plus still push Fair up warning. to a thousand dollars. So if eight point five a plus, you know, versus a VGA eighty plus, that's not that different. Pretty comparable grades, honestly. Looking for eleven $1 hundred and forty on the Mario Golf. Chocla, you gave up on the Harvest Moon at like six hundred bucks. Ah. Uh, I gave up at what? I gave up at $600 too. <laughs> Apparently we were both thinking 600 bucks was the sweet spot on Fair this uh, Harvest Moon. Next lot. $800. That's where it was feeling good to me too. At 600 bucks, man, it just feels like a deal, you know? Mario Golf, 1170 for the 80+. plus. Mario Kart 64, wow, 9.4 CIB. 9.4 box, 9.6 cart, 9.2 manual. Beautiful CIB Mario Kart 64. Looking for over $1,000. Looking for over $1,000. Basically, any factory sealed copy of Mario Kart 64 Fair is going to cost you uh, quite a bit these days. So getting yourself a beautiful CIB... $1,000, $1,050 is what it ended at. It's really hard to gauge, like, what should these sell for? You know what I mean? How much should a Mint CIB sell for? Fair warning. This is probably like a 5X premium over a pretty decent CIB, Next right? $200 would probably buy you a pretty nice CIB. So $1,000 to get a 9.4? I, I don't know. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. Player's Choice Mario Kart, 9.4A plus for 1380 People preferring to buy a Player's Choice rather than a beautiful CIB, actually. Mario Kart Player's Choice again, 9.0A plus on this one. This is actually the earlier Player's Choice on this one, too. Uh, there's Fair K to one. A rating on this, and then this one is the uh, E for everyone. So Player's Choice Next actually slot. has a variant on Mario Kart 64 1, earlier and uh, later. So the 9.0A plus going for $900. So the 9.0 player's choice did sell for less than the 9.4 cib i know Fair that's one. a lot of things people talk about too like would you rather get a player's choice copy or just a cib next lot. of the original and 300 well there you can see it right 9.0 a plus selling for less than a 9.4 cib kind of interesting 9.2 a plus plus player's choice on super mario 64 for 1620 bucks into war gods 9.6 a plus and we're like done n64 that's crazy we sat through Fair hours one. Literal hours of NES and Super Nintendo. Literal hours. And we were only gifted with like 10 N64 games. That's robbery. War Gods went for $500. Wave Race 64. This is another one that's just kind of crazy. Like if you don't pay attention to the sealed and graded world, uh, Wave Race 64 is pushing up to almost $2,000 here. 7.5A. Talking about the jump from like CIB to factory sealed. Remember Harvest Moon was like a... 4x i think i was saying wave race is like a 50 dollar cib 100 then factory sealed for like 1800 freaking dollars <laughs> that's a jump that's what i mean when i say something like harvest moon is almost more sought after um cib and as a cartridge versus factory sealed and graded just Fair doesn't work. have nearly as much of a demand or push from the uh, factory sealed crowd 
Donkey Kong 64, one. flat box there for 228 bucks. Doom 64, VGA 85 as well. This is the one you were talking about. Hey, Adam. $90. You're saying it looked a little sussy? Um, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm Fair not one. the expert here, right? I'm not the expert here. VGA is saying it is a uh, factory. Do they even say unfolded? What do they say? They just say box flat. $200. Box flat. Like, they, I don't know. They don't even say. They don't even say unfolded. I don't know if they're supposed to be. Box flat. Player's Choice Super Mario 64. Doom is fine? I don't even want to throw my opinion at it. Fair warning. Like I said, I already don't really resonate with these items, so. VGA is saying they're unfolded boxes, or Heritage is saying they're unfolded boxes. Both of them are saying they're unfolded boxes, I think, so. That's what you're getting here. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully that's what you're getting. <laughs> Player's Choice Mario 64 box here. Doom 64 went for 159 bucks. Mario 64, VGA 90. Player's Next Choice one. going for... 432. Here's Fivel again. We also, we had Fivel on Super Nintendo. Now we also get him on uh, Game Boy Advance. Jesus, 9.8A++. The only copy on the pop report and a freaking 9.8A++. And it's looking for $200. <laughs> Deep Game Boy Advance collectors can appreciate Fivel's Gold Rush. Looking for $240 here. Very uncommon to find. Like, I, I don't know if I'd call it rare. Use the old R word for this one. But, like, it, it's, it's, you know, deep GBA collectors can appreciate it. And coming up with GBA, we also have Pocky, Rocky, and Becky here. Sitting at $639.0A+. One of the most expensive Game Boy Advance games that exists these days. So we'll see how that one does. <clears throat> Then we enter into the uh, more esoteric, esoteric stuff, including a marketing Fair jacket warning. and this Killer Instinct biker vest, which is insane, which is only sitting at $62. <laughs> Has everyone left? Is everyone gone? Maybe, maybe we can win the biker vest. There's still 80 people here. The biker vest is only $62. <laughs> oh, I mean, if, if no one else wants it, I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If no one else wants it. <laughs> Next lot. Bival finally closes at $456. There we have Garfield and the nine lives. And his nine lives. 9.88 a plus here. Highest graded copy of this on the pop report out of just three. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do on the biker vest. $300. <laughs> 300 340 I can wear that uh I can wear it topless for you guys during every auction moving forward $80 Or you know what I mean wear it with no shirt underneath <clears throat> 9.88 a plus Garfield here Looking for 456 no 432 $1, Here's Pocky and Rocky with Becky 9.0 a plus um, this game, I think it's overtaken Ninja 5.0 at this point. $1,300. Looking for $1,560 here. Like, I am pretty positive this is, like, the most expensive GBA game. I guess outside of Pokemon or Zelda, you know what I mean? Outside of the, uh, the main Nintendo franchises, pretty sure it's Pocky and Rocky. Looking for $2,000 now on the 9.0A plus, over $2,000. I mean, frick, maybe this would even compete with the uh, Nintendo titles in high grade. Looking for 2280 on the 9.0A+. $2,200. Still going, looking for 2600 Only seven copies on the pop report. They've only sold one copy prior to this, and it was Fair a 9.0A+. Same grade, sold for 1920 back in April. Next 2022, line. jeez. Uh, so this actually sold for $60. more than it sold for in April 2022. This is up in the past two years. Kind of crazy. 
Can't keep your eyes open any longer. Good night, boys. You got the 75 Atomic Purple Game Boy. Let's go, Simon. $20. Let's go, baby. Nice little win for you there. Have yourself a good night, man. Pocky and Rocky going for 2400 bucks into Captain N, the Game Master. Number one comic. 8.5 white pages. Fair warning. Um, oh my, there's a lot of these graded. Jeez, I was looking for the census. There's Next 22 slot, in this grade, right? There's 22 8.5s and 194 higher. There's over 200 copies of this submitted. I'm actually like, I'm shocked. There's a little bit of a collector community there, actually. This is uh, the Game Master again, Captain N, number two. There's 29 of them in 9.2, 147 higher. I'm not even used to saying numbers like that, Next line, right? Like in the video game world, that doesn't exist. 197 higher. <laughs> that doesn't exist in the video game world. This is a group lot of two VHS original box arts plus the VHS tape. So this is actual original box art for the VHSs. Uh, you get Link and Captain N, I believe, on both of them, right? Link and Captain N? $700. Very cool here. I didn't realize there was original art in this auction. Fair warning. You look forward to the lives even if you don't have any sealed games yourself? Next Let's go. That's huge deer. $28. Your wife got you the whole Captain N collection for Christmas last year. Really cool stuff. Like the, uh, the, uh, a run of the, um, like these, like all of the comic books. Are they expensive? Like, <laughs> I guess they must not be that bad if you could get the whole collection. I, I'm like, I've never even. Fair warning. I don't want to say I've never heard of them. Like I've heard of Captain N, but that's as far as my knowledge goes. You know what I mean? I don't know much about them at all. This is Nintendo Comics here. Um, Nintendo Comic Systems. Fair warning. Number one. <laughs> 9.2. Uh, there's zero Next in 9.2 for higher. I, I don't really understand $85. that, but... Sold for $180. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> this is Nintendo Comics System Promotional Comic Book Banner. Featuring Mario. This vibrant banner is a rare promotional piece that once graced the walls of comic book stores to announce the arrival of Nintendo Comic Systems. Um, measuring 23 by 8. High quality slick poster paper. So, okay, that's what you get. You're getting the 23 by 8 display piece here. Actually, really cool. This would look freaking awesome hung on your wall. What is Nintendo Comic System? <laughs> what is it? Is it comics about their like game characters? Like what 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 are these? Fair warning. Selling for almost five hundred dollars here. Slot. Yeah, definitely get this framed. I agree. Framed up, that would be crazy. Five hundred and twenty eight dollars for it. Uh group lot of eighty six Nintendo Campus Challenge photos and final badges. Unique rare lot of 86 Fair full warning. color photographs from the 1991-1992 Nintendo Campus Challenge tournaments, as well as a bunch of uh, badges from the finals. This must be that same stuff that came from the um, from that Nintendo employee who had all of the prototype stuff. I assume that's where this furniture, furniture, where this clothing is coming from too. I wanted to see more about these. Four hundred twenty dollars. Four hundred sixty dollars. Five hundred dollars. I guess here's uh, just a little smattering of all the photos you get, hey? Nintendo Campus Challenge 1991, I believe? These are actually warning, really freaking cool. $600. $700. Like, really cool. I think they just sold for $1,000, right? Fair warning. What a, what a time to be alive, man. Next I wasn't slot. alive, but I assume it was a good time to be alive. $38. Now, here's the biker vest. $60. The Killer Instinct biker up, vest. Uh, we're at $100. The Mario jacket went for $780. That's a bit, a bit scary, I'll be honest. Uh, we're winning at $130 right now. Winning at $139. You've Winning been at $159. Dollars. 
I don't know how much farther I can push this, I'll be honest. This is like already getting into 200 bucks now after shipping. Oh my god! Okay, we gotta bid. We'll cut bid once. We'll cut bid once. You've we been up bid. You gotta use your cut bid. You gotta use your cut bid. Hopefully this person just fucks off. It's a medium. I don't think this will even Fair fit. <laughs> oh my god. $160. You've been outbid. <laughs> I actually thought it was gonna win. I actually thought it was. Is that 192 Fair US? Warning. I mean, like, by the time it gets to my door, we're like 250 Next US. Slot. It just hurts you guys. Like I, I, I can't chase it. I can't chase the vest. Just because I'm in Canada, it's like the the shipping and shit. By the time it gets to me, it hurts. Eight hundred um, dollars. Brick. Hundred and eighty US for it. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. That was really close. I actually thought we were gonna win it. Nine hundred dollars. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, I I actually 1, thought. Here's a Glover T-shirt, the Target exclusive. You save ten dollars, I think, and you get a T-shirt. VJ eighty five. It was a great shot. It was a great shot, Elaine. It was a great shot. Six hundred. Like I said, I actually thought we were gonna win. Well, what is going on with this though? The uh the Glover. The ten dollar coupon exclusive here T shirt VJ eighty five over like we're at almost two thousand dollars. I didn't realize these were so expensive. Jesus, eighteen hundred dollars for the Glover. Dollars. So like I said, I, you get a you get a T shirt inside and a ten dollar coupon. This is not the game. That is kind of nuts for eighteen hundred bucks. So here now we start off into these uh, these trading cards and stuff. So now, like I said, I don't really know what to expect on prices on this. $36. I can say I bid. I can say I bid. <sighs> I need to cut it up into a little short. We can cut up the bid into a short Fair little one. video where I was almost there. We almost had the vest. I'm surprised Next the vest lot. only sells for $180, $2. to be honest. Like, it just feels like a piece. Um, Like, it's pretty freaking cool. I'm surprised it's only $200 cool. Given to a select number of Nintendo of America employees during the production of Killer Instinct. Black leather vest embroidered on the back. Like, I, I, I'm surprised. Usually clothing goes for quite a bit. Ten, Donkey Kong Country 2, you got the apes there for 63 bucks. Here's Trixie. Dixie. <laughs> That's what I said, Dixie. Uh, Gem Mint 10. I swear I'm a fan. I swear I'm a Fair big one. Donkey Kong fan. JC, did you win the vest? Next line. Are you serious, dude? Two dollars. Did you win the vest, JC? No way. Here's Swanky Kong. Fair warning. The Swanky Kong from Donkey Kong Country 2. $4. Like who who is Swanky Kong? <laughs> uh PSA 10 here. The Dixie Kong went for $41. Fair warning. You're usually not a medium, but you also don't have a lot of vests. Oh, Next that's crazy. Line, that's crazy. If you did $4. win it, JC, congrats, Six man. Dollars. That vest is really cool. Swanky Kong went for 32 bucks. Here's Diddy and Dixie. Uh, Gem Mint 10 on this as well. Fair warning. You did win it, so if it makes me feel better, you'll also $8. be eating the Canada text. Yeah. The Canada tax, I mean. DKC3 bonus circus minigames. Is that where Swanky's from? $10. You need to see a Leo $14. Luster card? Who's Leo Luster? Are these like deep Donkey Kong characters that I'm just not familiar with? And there's a lot of... There's not that many cards. We close off with Fair like 20 one. lots of cards here. I don't know if any of them are going to sell for much. Like Next the Ocarina lot. of Time cards are really cool. $2. $4, Diddy and Dixie there for 41 bucks. Here's just DK. $14, Donkey Kong from Donkey Kong Country 2. These are published by Amada. Amada? Amada? I, I don't know how you say it. A-M-A-D-A. -A. I'll put it in chat. Like this. They're published by that company. Um, $19.96. $40. <clears throat> 
Did the market ever die down for the Mario Wonder Elephant Mario Kart or whichever the rare one was? I don't really know of any trading card video games market. Uh, it did, Elaine. It did Fair quiet work. down a decent amount, actually, compared to where it was. Like, if you wanted to buy one now, if someone was like, oh, I'm looking to buy an Elephant Mario Kart. Like, it's, it's, I think it's reasonable now. I think you can get a PSA 9 or 10 for like, like, it's still not cheap, but I think a PSA 10 is like 1000 to 1500 where back when it was releasing, um, raw copies were selling for like $1,000. So, it's still not cheap, but at least now you can secure yourself a PSA 10 instead of just like gambling on a raw copy. Donkey Kong went for 67 bucks into some of these Ocarina of Time cards. These are 1999 card ass. PSA 10 Link. Uh, this is getting some love. You don't mind renting it out for future streams? 180 US a day, yeah. We can do a borrow system like on RuneScape where you just lend it. Lending party hat, 24 hours, like 2 mil. <clears throat> Zelda Link here. Fair warning. Pushing up. Oh my god, is Leo Luster the guy with like black hair? Yes. <laughs> yes. I couldn't Fair remember one. his name, man. But yeah, we watched the uh we watched Next the Donkey one. Kong cartoon growing up. $36. We $24. definitely need a Leo Luster card. You are correct. I can't believe that's his name. I never would have been able to tell you that. I never would have been able to tell you his name. $360 for Link here, the Ocarina of Time PSA 10. Into Princess Zelda. Again, Gem Mint 10 on this. I guess these do actually have some value. This one as well here. Bidding is pushing up over 200 bucks. How much is the vest? Is it for sale? Yeah, now we need to uh we need to resell the vest right now. $220. We need to resell the vest right now. $240. Over $200 for the Princess Zelda. $280. Over $300 for Princess Zelda. Do any of you guys collect these vintage um, Nintendo cards? It's just something I've never personally gotten into. I don't know if I ever will get into it. While it is cool, it's like I can't start spending hundreds of dollars Fair on, uh, you know, Ocarina of Time trading cards. I <laughs> just there has to be a limit somewhere, you know, to how much stuff a guy collects. You're keeping it. You have a small collection of random game adjacent crap. This will fit in nicely. Do you have a factory sealed copy of Killer Instinct already, JC? Like, is Killer Instinct one of your, you know, big favorite games, or is this just like a cool piece? Ocarina is the pinnacle. It is. You have seven complete sets of these Next Zelda one. card ass. What? $36. What? $44. Um, I'm assuming they weren't that expensive, 50, January Jake, 65, to put together. 75, is this like, are, are these just massive PSA 10 premiums here? Or should these just not be like $400 here for Princess Zelda? Here's the adult Princess Zelda. Gem Mint 10 again. Bidding, pushing up over $200. $220. Like, I have to feel like this is a steep PSA 10 premium here. That's kind of how this feels to me. Like, surely Fair buying one. a random raw copy of this wouldn't be more than, like, 10 bucks, right? Surely. There are nice cards, though. I gotta crack my back. Oh. oh. I'm heading to the gym as soon as this auction ends. $300. Ugh. And honestly... I didn't think it was going to be a three-hour auction tonight. Oh, I will be honest with you guys. I did not think it was going to be a three-hour auction. Fair warning. This one is burning the midnight oil here, boys. Next lot. $36. Oh, thank God I got my water. Adult Zelda closes at $336 into what? Uh, Saria. Saria? Saria? I don't know. Saria, I guess. Gem Mint 10 on it. $46. Surely this doesn't also $48. go for hundreds of dollars, right? Surely. $50. Strictly a cool piece. You always like the logo and mostly nostalgia for SNES when you see it. Personally, don't like the game much. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah, it's, um, Fair um, Killer Instinct is freaking great. Killer Next Instinct slot. is great. $36. $40. Is it, no, no auction tomorrow. This is everything today. Everything today. A $77 for Saria. Saria. That makes more sense. And then Princess Rudo here, Gem Mint 10. $46. So I guess it's just Link and Zelda that bought the, brought the big premiums on these cards. You also have a sealed box. <laughs> I would probably rather have a sealed booster box of these than uh, the individual cards, honestly. A sealed $50. booster box sounds kind of neat. How much does that cost? How much would it cost me to buy a sealed booster box of uh, Ocarina of Time card-ass vending Japanese trading card game? Princess Rudo is slowly getting some bids here. Looking for $84. Fair warning. $60. <laughs> we even have duplicates. There's a duplicate of the Kokiri Sword. Not sure if we'll see Amada Oot cards. I think PSA Pop is still zero for any of Fair them. Warning. Wow. So Amada, or Amada, however you say it, the, uh, the company that also made these Donkey Kong cards, I guess they also made... Ocarina of Time cards. And apparently they're way freaking rarer. <laughs> Good to know. 60, Good to know. 90, Princess Rudo for 84 bucks. Here's Navi. Gem Mint 10 copy, of course. Uh, pushing up to almost $200 as well. You got your sealed box for about $300 five years ago. Five years ago. That's like before COVID pricing, man. <laughs> if you paid 300 five years ago, that box is probably worth like $1,500 now. What's up with these cards? No idea of their existence? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're Japanese only. Yeah, they are. They're Japanese card ass um, released for Ocarina of Time. I hardly know anything about them myself. Just early Nintendo Japanese trading cards. It's like those uh, Donkey Fair Kong one. Country ones we saw. These were 1996. $400. In Japan, they just got cooler shit than we got over here in North America. And Navi is uh, pushing up to over 400 We're almost at $400 here. Or 500 I mean, sorry. Fair warning. Navi's about to be the most expensive one that's sold so far. Next lot. Yeah, freaking 450 bucks. 456 Wow. Um, here is a, a Poe. <laughs> this is actually a cool card. Uh, just one of the ghosts, a Poe. Gem Min 10 on this. Fair warning. Is Poe going to get some love? Forty dollars. <laughs> yes, he did. Just at the last second there. <laughs> Forty-two. Gem Min 10 on this one as well, of course. $44. Yeah, card ass has always made me laugh too. It's just a really funny name. I'd buy some of the Pokemon card ass cards. So, like, I'm very familiar with the company name in that regard. But, like, Next I've never slot. gone away from... Uh, $46. Like, apparently, Cardass printed, like, everything. They must have been, like, tops. Like, you know, in North America, we have, like, tops $48. and uh, upper deck and shit. I assume Cardass is just, like, a massive Japanese card maker, publisher. $55. I don't know what you call it. Card maker. Card publisher. I, I feel like there's a word I'm forgetting that would make more sense. Um, Kokiri Sword Link here, though. Gem Min 10 as well. The Poe ended at $71. You need Mario Party 1 to 3 cards, Greg. Uh, do those exist as well? My gosh. $110. Yeah, maybe printer? Is that the, like, card printer? Card supplier? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm Fair thinking one. of one of those words. Are there also uh, Mario Party Next card one. ass cards? Is that what I'm is that what I'm hearing here? Kokiri Sword 129 for the PSA 10, another copy. We got 18 more cards to go here, folks. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me snapping my neck there because we're sitting through these card ass cards. <laughs> Uh, just, just kidding, just Fair kidding. Warning. Thanks for sponsoring Heritage. Great auction, great auction. Yeah, ma manufacturer. Manufacturer is what I was looking for. Yes, manufacturer. I knew someone would have the word. Fair warning. Card manufacturer. Yes, there are, and they're quite hard to come by. Wow.
<laughs> yeah, I need the uh, the Mario Party 1 Bumper Balls card. Surely, surely that has to be the grail, right? Bumper Balls Fair has warning. to be the grail. What else would it be? <clears throat> Next lot. The other Kokri Sword card here ending at 169. And here's Jump Attack. This is actually a foil three, card. Three it looks like it has the prism pattern on it. Right? This is foil, isn't it? Four hundred sixty dollars. It certainly looks like it has a prism foil. Uh, gem mint ten on this. Uh, it has to pushing up almost five hundred dollars here. $500. Gem mint ten jump attack. Six hundred. Yeah, it is a prism card. Okay, that's what I thought. Pushing up to almost seven hundred. Jesus. Yeah, six zz. I was. Uh, I agree one hundred percent, man. I need to know what the uh, PSA ten pop is. I need to know the pop info on these cards. Like as someone watching this more casual where I'm like, oh man, maybe Fair maybe one, I would throw a bit at Poe, right? Um, at Poe at $71, like I need to know the pop on it. I need to know if this is pop six or pop 60. Because I just don't Fair know. Warning. Jump attack is almost at a thousand freaking, it is. One more bid and we're at a thousand dollars here for jump attack. Gem mint 10 prism foil card. Fair warning. Uh, just Next shy one. of a thousand bucks, hey? Four dollars. Nine hundred and sixty. So what is the uh what what's the grail card here? Like what is the most valuable card ass Ocarina of Time card? What other cards got Fair the uh, prism treatment? Jump attack at nine sixty, I like, guess that's, that's pretty frickin' expensive. Japanese Mario Bros. animated movie phone card. Eight point five on this. Nineteen eighty seven from Nippon. Ten dollars. Fourteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. There are six prism cards in total. <clears throat> Japanese and phone cards are uh, like an entire collector market. Like phone card grading and collecting Next is very lot. popular, which is very $22. odd. But it's a thing. $51 for the uh, phone card here into Mario Party 20, 10. 30, what is this? 34, 30, gum? 40, 40, 50, Japanese trading 60, card game 60, Gum $70. for Mario Party 10. Uh, it's from Sika. Top Sika. <laughs> 2015. That's crazy. <laughs> Gem Mint 10. Mario Party 10. Fair warning. Trading card game Gum card. <laughs> Selling one. for 90 bucks. Yeah, $94 on that. <laughs> This is another phone card, Super Mario Bros. here from 1986. CGC 9 on it. $42. That's a really $42. early uh, Mario Bros. phone card there. Jeez. Larry told you to bid a lot on which one? The Jump Attack Wacko or the card ass cards? $48. Which ones are Larry pumping? We have to know where the Larry pump is coming from. Uh, do you know, CRA, which one is the uh, Prism cards would be most sought after then? $55. Oh, my $60. gosh. Just about at the three-hour mark here. It's going to be like three hours perfect on the mark. It's crazy. This is three hours and, like, you know, I'm tired. What print was Fair the Sealed one. Zelda? A really late print, Mickey. Really late print. Um, Next lot. Like one before, one or two before the absolute last print. Really late print copy. 30, 38 dollars. I didn't, Hiko. I didn't. I got super close on two items. I was the underbidder on the Chrono Trigger Guide, I believe, and I was the under underbidder $40. on the uh, Killer Instinct Vest. Forty-two dollars. I think I was underbidder on both of those. Probably Adult Link. That makes sense. $44. That would $46. make sense. Another phone card here. This one being a CGC 10. 1987 on this. With Mario and Peach. Very cool. <clears throat> card number five. You made a Facebook group about all the Zelda cards. It's called Zelda Cards Collectors Club. Can I share a link? I shared albums with my Armada cards in there. Even images of these cards are... I don't know if you can share a link in here, January. Um... I don't know if you can. You might just get hit by uh uh you know what I mean? You might get hit by a um a filter. Fair warning. If you're in Thank the Discord, there's a link in the description to join the Discord where I would love for you to link your thing and I can join into it. 
Um, or I'll just find the Facebook group afterwards. But I, I think you'll get hit by a spam filter if you try a link in here. $140. You finally caught up some bonkers numbers tonight. Love to see it. Greg, anything cool? Dragon Ball coming up in that Heritage Anime auction. Uh, there's like a whole... Um, did you see Lettuce Jump? That there's like an entire auction dedicated to... Where it's like the art of Dragon Ball and other anime. There's a lot of really cool shit coming up in that. If that's the one you're talking about. It's all like original um, animation cells, art, Fair Genga, one. I think it's called Genja. A um, lot of cool stuff coming up in that. Next I think one. there's like over 100 pieces of Dragon Ball art. So if you're into that, that's something you want to collect. Like, 20, there's a lot 30, of stuff in there to look 30, at. 30, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60. The Super Mario Bros. phone card CGC 10 there going for $192. Uh, yeah, I can probably just link you to it here. I think I still have the... Uh, with this comic, Commerce Maxon Art. Oh, it's in my recommendations. <laughs> my recommendations are literally all $70. Dragon Ball Z art. So, uh, yeah. I can just link you the auction here. March 2023, the art of anime, Dragon Ball, and more. But, $75. like, a large part of it is just Dragon Ball art. $80. 700 pieces. <gasps> Remember tonight's $85. auction? Like, we're 220 pieces. And we are uh, three hours. 720 pieces it is over two days but like holy shit that's a big auction Fair warning it's nuts like anytime you think video games is big or we have a lot of stuff or anything like other auctions just blow us away this is really cool this is mario versus Reznor. uh terebi denwa don't know what that means. Dollars. Super Mario World Part 2. Number 2 arcade game card. CGC 10 $40. from Ban Presto. $42. I, I just think the cards are really freaking neat. Being Super Mario World. Um, I, Again, I wish they had a pop report here. Oh, it has to be, right? $44. Like it has, $46. has to be at least 6 hours, I would think. $48. And probably does stretch into like 7 or 8. Just absolutely insane. Um... Yeah, these cards, again, I just don't really know much about them. I wish there was population $55. info there. But, like, really freaking cool card. It's just cool. Sixty. But $65. I just don't know enough to uh, toss, like, $100 at this. If I'm going to start tossing $100 at random Japanese trading cards, I should have just bought the fucking vest, right? That's the issue. $75. Uh, this set here is one of the more common ones you're saying? The uh, Mario World Part 2? $80. We also have Mario and Yoshi coming up. <laughs> CGC 10 on that as well. Mario holding baby Yoshi. Yeah, these are Fair just really cool. $85. Obviously, Super Mario World in general is just like hella nostalgic. So, these just, these just hit. These hit right in the spot there. <clears throat> Fair warning. And I did link that Dragon Ball auction in the chat there for you guys. $90. If you want to check that out. Oh, very cool auction coming up. I doubt I'll be able to afford anything. Those animation art auctions are like... <laughs> like serious collectors, you know what I mean? $95. I guess I... I, uh, I say that, but you know, some pieces will probably sell in the $500 to $1,000 range. So like, I could afford something, but it's not cheap. You Fair just posted warning. the link in the Discord trading card section? Very nice. I'll join in as soon as we're done the auction here. Ten more items. The earliest Mario Prisms are from 1989, and those ones attract high premiums. Fair yeah, so warning. this is 1993 on these ones. Gotcha. $110. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we're getting actually pretty late already in the, um, in the trading cards. Because Mario World is what, 1991? If I'm Fair not mistaken? Warning. So Mario World's popularity would have already been, you know, fully baked in. Teleport, you're still here. Wow, an absolute trooper, man. An absolute trooper. For some reason, these trading cards are taking like as long Fair as warning. anything in the auction. You know, they're selling for like a hundred bucks, but like, oh my God, they just extended the bidding again here. <sighs> People are taking their sweet time here. There is a 1991 Mario World set, which is far rarer than the 1993 set. Yeah. Fair warning. That makes sense to me. Makes sense. Next lot. $3. That Resnor card there went for $169. 
And see, so this one's going to start off at like four dollars. Um, I think I'm just I, I got to help the auction here. I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing this for all of us. I'm doing this for all of us. Twenty six, twenty thirty dollars. CGC ten here. Mario and Yoshi. What did this one just end at? One hundred sixty nine. You've been outbid. I can still just toss some bids. Forty dollars. Forty. Forty four. Forty six dollars. This is because I care about all of us here. I I, I just want all of us to go home tonight. There we go. We're at nine nine with hundred dollars. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's 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 go here, folks. Let's get this going. <laughs> That's the point of the auction we're at here, Elaine. That's the point of the auction we're at. Let's just frickin' let's get this moving here. <laughs> this is genuinely a cool card once again. Mario on Yoshi there, but it's like, we know it's not gonna sell for 50, 60 bucks. We know it's not gonna sell for that, so. Watch out, you might buy some wax, yeah. I mean, if I want it for 50 bucks, whatever, right? That's why it's like, there's no fear there, so. But if this one just sold for 169, then surely this is gonna sell for even more. We just, we, we can't be waiting for all that, uh, you know, the little bit bidding there. We gotta get going. Over 200 bucks now though, kind of getting serious. It might even go over 300. Again, I don't really have any price relativity on these. But like, it, it seems kind of real. You know, like looking at $336 now on the next bid. Like that, 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 that's an actual amount of money. Fair warning. That's not nothing. Put it that way, I guess. It is next the most popular card from the set. I figured $2. as much. I figured as much. Mario and Baby Yoshi here, CGC 10. $4. Six, eight, so again, nine. right, like... Like we know we're not gonna win. Twenty four dollars. Twenty six, twenty eight dollars, thirty dollars, thirty two, thirty. Like uh, hitting this thing like a freaking cookie 30, clicker 40, here. Forty, 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 forty eight, fifty five. Okay, so 60, there we go. We got it up to hundred bucks. Seventy dollars. Yeah, Mario and Yoshi exactly. It's always gonna be a key card. I actually really enjoy this one too. Eighty five dollars. Ninety dollars. Just really nice. Really cool. Five dollars. These are something where I guess maybe I need to look into it more and maybe I can buy like a binder set. Like I don't need graded CGC 10 cards of this, but it'd be really cool to just flip through and see all these. Like I said, just super, super, super nostalgic art and everything. And this is actually pushing its way up to almost $200 as well. Jeez. <clears throat> Definitely getting some bids on this. Fair warning. <laughs> and it looks like they're not $10. dragging the auction anymore, which is nice. This one took like as long as these two combined here. 192 for Mario and Yoshi. $4. Here's Mario and Mario versus $6. Rip Van Fish $10. and Blurp. $10. $14. Great. $18. Fantastic. $20. You love to see it. $32. And I'm actually not going to smash the bid, bid button. Because, like, this is actually a lot less popular of characters on the card, and I do fear I might actually win it for, like, $80. I don't think it will sell for 80 bucks, but you know what I mean? Thanks for the three-hour stream, Uriah Warrior. Ego! Let's go, dude. Four ninety nine. Much appreciated. I was gonna say earlier, yeah, I've been sitting here for, like, three hours, hey? And, um, like, I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of talking. I'm tired of sitting. And... On Twitch recently, I've been watching uh, Dragon $90. Warrior Glitchless, like uh, speedruns of the first Dragon Warrior game, and it's a six-hour speedrun, and like I, I just don't know how people do it. I don't know how speedrunners or like even just streamers, right? They sit there for like six hours, eight $100. hours, ten hours. Like, <laughs> how do you guys do it? How do they do it? I basically have claustrophobia setting in from sitting for so long at this point. Fair it's warning. crazy. Like, I just want to, you know what I mean? I want to get up and move. Next one. <clears throat> the blurp card goes for 124 hours there. $124. $124. Oh, my gosh. Time is melting all around me. Yeah, D-Rob, you're just in time for the cards, baby. You're just in time for Mario versus the Porky Puffer. A CGC 10. Beautiful card here. Nostalgic Super Mario World Japanese card ass. No, not card ass. You've been outbid. Japanese... Uh, Chiribi Denwa. Hopefully you've been buying $40. yourself some nice cards. But yes, yes, we're $42. still here. We're just about done, man. 
we're like five or six uh, lots away from closing out the auction. $44. Just going through a few of these Japanese $46. cards, which honestly I think are doing pretty decent. $48. Like $312, $192, $124. Like, they don't feel like, um, they don't feel like throwaways. $60. Those feel like real prices. $65. Did you win anything tonight, D-Rob? $75. I know you uh, chickened out on your Gretzky hockey, but... $90. Lately, you've been streaming for like seven hours, so three is a walk in the park, dude. $95. Yeah, you're a freaking warrior, man. You're a warrior. Oh, you won the SWAT cats. Let's go, man. That's cool. That's cool you won the SWAT cats. Cool game. Cool pickup. A sup, yo. It's tough, man. Like, if we were to eliminate all of these cards, you know, like, if we cut the auction right at the vest, uh, or, like, Fair even walk. at Glover right here, uh, we probably have been in cards now for 15, Next 20 walk. minutes. Two maybe dollars. longer. So, I mean... You know what I mean? Like, Four dollars. Should the cards be part of this auction? I don't know. I, 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 I guess so. I don't know. But if you cut away these cards, the auction would have been like two hours and a half, give or take. Still long, but... That Glover was amazing? You, you think someone got a steal at 1800 Really? I was saying that I thought this was freaking surprising. Like, all that is is the Target exclusive. Like, you get the $10 coupon and the shirt inside. $10. Like, it's not the game. $120. I know it's rare, but like... $1,800? $140. I don't know, man. $150. That felt like a lot to me for Glover. $170. $170. No, there's no game in there. Am I mistaken? There's no game in there. $180. $190. Limited edition Glover t-shirt bundled with $10 discount coupon for the game. $220. Limited edition shirt and $10 off coupon towards the purchase of Glover. All shirts are XL. Yeah, like, that, that's okay. There we go. That's what I mean. Like, you don't get the game, so it's like... Next lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would much rather just have the game myself. $240 for Mario with a cape. Jesus. And then we have Mario and um, I, I, Wendy. Jeez, I couldn't get the name there. Mario and Wendy. BGC 10. $50. <laughs> Thanks for doing what you do best. Narrate, be a great representation of Canada, Dragon 60, Ball, and video games. Good night. $80. Appreciate you, Let us Jump. They need to show the four sides so you can see it look like a big box. Yep. I, th I think it is a big box. Is, is it even cardboard? $95. I don't even know if it's cardboard. $100. It might just be a piece of cardboard in the front wrapped in, um, wrapped in plastic. With the shirt. Like, you know what I mean? I don't... Someone would have to tell me. Is there actually a box? Maybe Suppio knows. I don't know if it's a box or just plastic. Yeah, for sure. I know which big boxes you're thinking of, D-Rob. With the Tarzan, the uh, Rampage. Fair warning. For sure. Next lot. No box on it. No box. $60. The Wendy card went for $164. Into some of the pop, the, the, uh, the tops scratch off card, sorry. PSA 10s on all of these. Uh, these are cool. I like these little top scratch cards and the top stickers. A lot of five uh, PSA 10s. Very hard cards to PSA 10, as I understand, because uh, they're, they have bleed issues. Like the waxing and bleed issues on these. So very, I don't know if it's very hard to get 10s, but much, much harder Fair to get warning. 10s. You open those packs, took the stickers, and put them on your Game Boy Color. <laughs> the top stickers there, 288 bucks for the group lot of PSA 10s. Here's six PSA 10s on this one. These are Zelda, Zelda 2. Oh uh, yeah, Zelda and Zelda 2. 
a few stickers and a few scratch offs. Four hundred dollars. And yeah, pushing up the almost five hundred dollars immediately. <laughs> Four hundred. Like I said, I think the PSA tens have big premiums on these, but um, I don't know if like the eights and nines do. I'm pretty sure eights and nines are very affordable, but tens are very rare. Five hundred fifty. Pushing its way up to over six hundred dollars on these. And centering issues. The centering on the scratch offs is fucking abysmal. So. Fair warning. Six hundred dollars. Pushing up over seven hundred dollars here. <laughs> Which I mean, only a hundred dollars a card. You know, a little bit more than a hundred bucks a card right now. Looking for seven hundred and twenty? Six hundred and fifty dollars. Got it. Looking for seven hundred and eighty on them. Jesus. It makes the first lot look cheap. Yeah, seriously, dude. The punch out ones didn't even like come close to sniffing what these Zelda ones are doing. Seven hundred. Still going. We got a buzzer beater there. Looking for eight hundred and forty now. Whew. We have more Fair Zelda warning. ones coming up here. These uh, these will probably all pop off pretty decent then. Mario ones are coming up next. Gem Mint tens on all of them. Yeah, these are all probably going to do pretty damn well. And the Mario 2 ones here. Eight PSA 10s. Jeez. Next lot. The six Zelda ones selling for 840 Here's five Zelda ones on this one. We got a sticker on the top and then some scratch-offs for The Legend of Zelda. Number three, four, seven, and five. All PSA 10. $360. Did you come back, D Rob, literally just to uh, bid on some of the trading cards? I didn't know you were a trading card guy. I didn't know Fair you were warning. into the uh, the tops, the top scratchers. $380. Looking for four fifty on the lot of five here. Four hundred dollars. Oh, you were interested? Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. You were interested, but not at these prices. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel about these cards too. Like I said, I think you can get PSA eight, PSA nine for fair like one. very affordable. Like 30 bucks even. Like very affordable. So I'm like damn near positive this is just PSA 10 premium here. Fair warning. At 50 bucks each you would have bought all the lots. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. I hear you on that. $480. I mean, yeah, at $50 per card, I would have been freaking bidding on them, I guess. So... This one was close to 50 bucks a card, actually, the punch-out ones. But, like, to be honest, these aren't the best stickers in the world. The Glass Joe one's cool, Soda Pop's cool, but, like, you know, after that, eh. Massive difference between uh, the Fair PSA warning. 9s and 10s, yeah. And yeah, that's what I figured on these. Next lot. $110. $576, so a lot of 5 there. Here's a group lot of 4. Uh, this has two Super Mario Bros. scratch-offs, and that is in the bottom left there. Super Mario Bros. Screen 1. I, I don't know if these cards gravitate like that, where it's like, oh my god, Super Mario Bros. Screen number 1. Like, is that the most sought-after card? I have no idea. But it is something that sticks out to me. So I thought I'd mention it. Screen 1 and Screen 9 down there for the, uh, the scratch-off Super Mario Bros. I don't know enough about these to say, like, which are the most sought-after cards. For all I know, it could be screen number six, right? I don't know. But screen number one surely has to get some attention. $320. Looking for $384. And there's one more item after this. We've almost done it, everybody. We've almost done it. $340. Oh, gosh. Like I said, right after this, I'm going to head over to the gym. It's going to be a great freaking time. I'm going to stretch out. It's going to feel awesome. What an Fair auction. Warning.
pretty interesting auction tonight too, hey? We had some really low-grade stuff do, like, pretty decent. Uh, some stuff, honestly, some deals were had tonight. I will say, some stuff didn't sell super strong. It's always interesting when you get an auction that has so much of this low pop and, like, weird titles. Like, Super Nintendo games we hardly ever see, NES games we hardly ever see. You just don't know where what's going to pop versus what's going to sell kind of soft. Fair warning. It's really interesting. Gym this late, go to bed. Yeah, I, I should have went to the gym earlier, but I should have went to the gym earlier. Uh, what's the workout routine? Tonight's just going to be back. I do bro split. I'm a bro split kind of guy, Connor. So tonight's back. Then we'll do Fair shoulders tomorrow. We'll hit legs on Saturday. Then arms, then chest, then legs again. Then we're back to uh, shoulders and back. $440. And then I'll sprinkle in a little bit of abs on some days. But group lot of four. The tops cards there went for $408. Actually, not that expensive. Like the Zelda ones were by far the most uh by far the most premium on that Zelda lot so far. Fair this is eight PSA tens here, all from Super Mario Bros. 2. <clears throat> Eight PSA 10s here from Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, um, $100 a card, hey? <laughs> $100 per card. Yeah, these are definitely an item, D-Rob, where they could have sold Fair for warning. nothing on Heritage. Like, these were definitely risky to throw for auction, in my opinion. They the could have sold for nothing. Close. I think they, they did pretty freaking decent. So... You bought a bunch of cards? <laughs> there we go, 6ZZ. There we go. Let's see the big board here. Let's see the results of the auction. Come on. 275,000, eh? Just shy of 275K is the total of the auction. The number one item was the Zelda. Not even close. 43,200 for the 9.8A+. Um, big sale. Not like huge. Like, I'm not sitting here like, oh my god, 43,000, that's so good. Like, I just feel it's more fair, you know? Could have sold for a bit more, also could have sold for less. So, I think it's just kind of a, eh, yeah, 43,000. Nothing to cheer about, nothing to be disappointed about, I think, either way. Just fair sale. Mike Dyson's Punch-Out, 8.5A for $6,600. Final Fantasy II, 8.5A plus for $6,600. Uh, this actually sold for $5,000 last time, but I guess someone didn't pay, so the next time around, six, six, the next time, right now, 6600 Sometimes it uh, it's nice when someone doesn't pay. 9.4A plus Pokemon Blue going for $5,000. And Donkey Kong Country, 9.4A plus. Bouncing back already for the uh, soft sale it had in the signature. If you guys remember, there was a 9.4A plus plus that sold for $4,000 at the signature. So already, I mean, I said at the time that was a weak sale. Here's $4,500 now for this copy. And Pokemon Red right under it, 8.0 for $4,000. At the other side of the auction, one item sold for less than everything else. <laughs> And it's freaking Swanky Kong. No. No. Swanky Kong. $32 for the PSA 10. <laughs> uh, it almost seems fitting that this is the least expensive item at the entire auction. Almost seems fitting that it's the least expensive item at the auction. Yeah, what a meme indeed. What a freaking meme. Yeah, that's what Hamster was saying too, D-Rob, that it probably should have went over 50k. And when I was looking at comps, I agree. The Zelda probably should have went over 50k. That's why when I look at the $43,000 sale, it's like, you know, eh. How it goes sometimes. Just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, Crypto Kong, exactly. Uh, shows up to the big ass auction dressed up in gold everywhere and sells for the least amount of money. Absolutely insane. But on that note, everybody, yeah, we're, we're bleeding over here. <laughs> Absolutely bleeding as we enter into those trading cards. Oh my God. We peaked out at what? A hundred and... 126 people in here at the peak. 61 of those people hit the like button. Every single one of those people, man. Those are the real ones. Those are the freaking real ones. 
<clears throat> you know what it's worth you love that you guys are using more data to evaluate this stuff but for real collectors don't always get too tied down by data you'll miss amazing opportunities yep i agree with you fully especially on the super low pop stuff um that's where it becomes the absolute hardest or even like a 9.88 a plus zelda like you 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 don't have another chance to buy that so sometimes you can look at the data you can make the relative analysis sometimes you just got to fucking go for it so but on that note, everybody, I'll be back on Tuesday. We're back on Tuesday, as always. Join the Discord if you can. Huge thanks to Heritage sponsoring tonight. Video games at ha.com to reach out about consignments. There's another one of this auction coming up in June, I believe it was. So you can reach out to uh, talk about consignment for that next possible auction. Deadline for the signature, fast approaching. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for coming out to the auction. I appreciate you guys. Have a good night.